hi, 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 sorry. We're doing it. We're having it. We're making it. Chad's, Chad's got to be back, everybody. Chad is flying high. He's back in Tampa today. I can't wait. It's been too long without Chad. He's, he's already buzzing, you know, every tweet he sends out, all caps, sold out. Just got done with so many sold out shows. It's like, is there anyone on the earth? You know, again, it's just Chad, you know, in his own head, of course, chirping. As if any of us read those tweets and go like, wow, Chad must be a draw. Chad must be, wow, Chad's selling out. This probably has nothing to do with Nick Swartzen at all. It's probably just Chad selling out. It definitely doesn't have anything to do with Nick Swartzen and his Comedy Central Presents and a bunch of 46-year-olds who are trying to remember that bit he did about picking up the jug of milk and it's too light. Woo! You know, everybody trying to relive Nick Swartzen and his glory days. So Chad, you know, Chad's like, say whatever you want, man. I've been on tour. You know, he keeps this thing where he keeps calling it a tour. It's a tour. Me and Nick were on tour. Sure, he never takes me anywhere outside of Florida. He never takes me to any like big gigs. If he's working at 300 seat comedy club, he'll he'll bring me in as long as it's within a 200 mile radius of my house. But for the big shows, no, 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 I'm not on the tour. So anyway, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, Chad gets to pretend like he's somebody. He gets to talk about eating lobster tail, you know, once every three years. And then, of course, again, he was saying something like, you know, this is the most fun I've ever had. It's the most fun I've had in years. It's like, did you already forget Gasparulo? Chad, did you already forget Gasparubo? That was like three months ago. That was two months ago. That was a month and a half ago. Did you already forget when you and Burt Kreischer ran this town? Did you already forget your magical weekend with TJ Miller? You got to ride on a boat. You got to eat lobster. Everything. Nobody can take these weekends away from you. This is the prime of your life, Chad. So we look forward to it. We look forward to uh, the dichotomy of you coming back and telling everybody that you didn't miss this world at all. It's full of losers and you didn't pay attention to any of this podcasting shit for the past couple of weeks. Meanwhile, also admitting that you now are back and don't have any gigs and desperately need the podcasting money you know so fire up the super chat machine it's 40 to uh 50 a show for old chad zumach hit the like button moody has rolled out an update to the super tip system today um woo. i think the voice chats now will match the uh the uh regular super tips so some stylistic differences and we've done a little favor for John's neglected cat. We're now color coding the voice tips. Okay, two new things you're going to notice if you go try to leave a voice tip this morning. Number one, you can now uh, pick the amount. So before it kind of like told you how much the voice tip was. This time, if you want to make a $100 voice tip, we'll let you, you fucking idiot. And it'll color code it red, just like any other $100 tip. So this will help John's neglected cat be able to kind of tell how much a voice tip cost based upon its color. We just want to try to drive Kevin Brennan crazy with how much, how much is he making? Now, a lot of people are saying, where's the wall? I do owe DK an apology today. Believe me, we all wanted $200. (laughs) It would have cost me about... 320 bucks with tax yesterday to go get 
uh, toner at a retail store, so I just didn't do it. I'm sorry. We'll have the wall tomorrow or, or Monday. I think Monday. Monday we'll have the wall. We're still trying to save up for printer cartridges. It's the Grint for the print 2024. It's printer Grinter 2024. We don't have any money for yellow. We have money for cyan a little bit. Magenta got quite a bit. And black, you know, is getting most of the donations. So the old test the hundred dollar donation button grift. Yeah, I mean you don't have to test it. God, I hope it's working. I hope we don't need any testing. But this way, uh, all the haters will be able to tell like how much was a voice tip. You know, you couldn't tell how much a voice tip was before. Um, like this one. Here's what they'll look like now. They'll look like regular. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta get the audio piped in. Mommy, I saw Daddy in the bedroom growing a man from his butt. Oh, Catherine dear, that's just Daddy's friend helping him wash his back with spit. So they just kind of uh, some stylistic differences. We're working on it. We're working on it. But then you can tell from that one. So just an example, that the cost of this one is seven eighty three, and the color coding is supposed to help you know. Like here's one that's over ten bucks. This should be yellow. This should should come through yellow. Hey buddy, I would only support white yeah. toner cartridges. Game on, Freddy Patty. I got five on the black cartridge so you can print big black cocks. I got five on the black car. Hello? Yeah, I got more info on this Tiff character. Tiff? <laughs> yeah, I got info. Are we? I didn't know we were looking for Tiff info, but all right. Apparently, there's pictures of a kid somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, probably her iCloud. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, uh, where's Tiff, is this? Oh, is this Starbucks ambassador? <laughs> oh, fuck. I, I gotta go. Tiff, is this true? Are there pictures of your kids somewhere? <laughs> Tiff, if this is true, I don't even know how to how to handle these accusations. So word on the street is... There are pictures of her children somewhere. <laughs> it's like, wow. On her mantle? <laughs> so where's Chad been anyway? You guys know? Where's Chad been? Hit the like button. We're doing it. Uh, I'm in a mood this morning. I'm in a good mood this morning. Yesterday, I didn't want to do it at all, but people seemed to love the show yesterday. Mostly just screaming about Stevie Lou. I, I, I'll be the first one to admit I have no idea what's going on. Nor do I care. This is the beauty of me. I, I literally, I, when I did get off the show yesterday, somebody had sent me like where Stevie Lou's wife worked. And then um, a few people sent me money and they were like, I want to pitch in on the edible arrangement for Stevie Lou's wife. He's like, I'm not really. These are jokes. I don't know Stevie Lou's wife. I'm not going to reach out to her. I'm not going to contact her. And neither should you, by the way. These are all, this is, you know, the reason we go so hard and say we're going to find out where she works and send her a Subway six-foot sub and sing happy birthday and have a singing telegram. It's, a ju it's to show you how stupid that would be. You know, anybody who thinks really doing that is funny. You're not going to be there to see it. She's not going to get the joke. You're not, I mean, there's nothing in it for you to harass Stevie Lou's what? Can we leave it? Again, I, I you know, I, I got to assume Stevie Lou's going through something or he's mentally ill. Let's, let's leave him alone. I, I, I don't, you know, again, we, what we've got is a guy who pretends like he knows how the internet works running around screaming. You can't talk about my wife. We can, we can. And again, you know, not only not only are people running around talking about your wife, now you got you running around saying you can't while everybody does. So you look stupid and ineffectual, and then everyone's also still talking about your wife. So it's like, 
this this chip on the shoulder attitude, this old you know, nineteen seventy six dad idea of just Confederate flags on the back of trucks playing lawn darts till the sun goes down. Don't you talk about my wife and kids. I'll fucking settle the score. I'll I'll settle your hash. No, you won't. No, you won't. It's the internet. It's the internet. I mean, Jesus Christ. Everyone thinks everything about everything. Every possible angle, every possible side of an argument, you're never going to convince... So imagine running around, snapping your fingers, going like, I'm going to put a stop to everyone talking about my wife. It's like, I hope you have a fire truck to go around and put out all these little flames because holy shit, holy shit, is that a waste of not only your time, but your energy and your focus? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Leave, leave Stevie Lou's wife alone. Leave everybody's wives and daughters and sons and school age children and stuff along uh shout out to our executive producer today oh it's rover it's rover red rover red rover send rover right rover does that make any sense no it does not and i've also put an end to everybody on the list twice you'll never be appearing on my list twice again i don't know how that happened but I am going to put a stop to it. You'll never, ever, ever get double credit around here again. In these parts, you know what I mean? Not in these parts. Panhandles, uh, dumb tattoo, 99 cent super sticker. And that's it. That's it. Boy, are we in, we're judging by that. We're in as much financial trouble this morning as the steel toe mining show. When last we checked. On the Steel Toe Morning Show, they were stuck, snowed in, in Minnesota at Nick Ricada's house. Now, rumor has it, according to eyewitness reports and third-party testimony from the Imholtz themselves, they went over to Nick Ricada's house Saturday night and spent Saturday night, Sunday, Sunday night, Monday and Monday night there. They did Sunday night show from the Ricadas. They did Monday morning show from the Ricadas. And they did Monday night show from the Ricadas. Now, how did it go? I don't know. (laughs) Here we go. Miss Melton's pending friend request gifted a membership. Um, Thank you to my wife's. Pending friend request. <laughs> Remember that time you admitted that somebody harassed your wife and it and it really, really bugged her? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember that time you got everything wrong when you tried to get people? Jasmine Havens, 149 super sticker. Thank you very much. Anyway, they're back home today. I guess I guess Aaron dug his truck out of the snow last night or had April do it. And they made the long trip back to their sad, little, loveless, childless home. (laughs) Thank you for letting us know, Ashley LaRue. And and again, for a guy with a routine, for a guy who picks the kids up from school, drops the kids off from school, yada, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, shouldn't this be, I don't know, shouldn't he be on Mondays and Tuesdays driving around trying to do some sort of I don't know. You know what this is? Anybody know what this is? Sorry, I'm getting an alert. Anybody have this recently? Amazon, they come to your house. Sorry, you know, I know, but I just know everybody loves a practical rant that we can all identify with. You seen this? First of all, uh, I, I, um, when I order, I ordered a keyboard uh, recently. I say recently, maybe six months ago. I ordered this new keyboard, Apple keyboard, wireless Bluetooth, with the uh, with the with the uh, fingerprint touch sensor on on that corner. See, and the bag got delivered to my porch, and there was nothing in it. Just a bag. 
And so I go out there and I do it, and they're like, your keyboard got delivered. And I, whatever the keyboard costs, 129 or whatever it costs. And I'm literally like, I didn't get the keyboard. Like, it was taken out of the bag. And, you know, Amazon doesn't even believe you. They're, and then, But I guess I buy so much from Amazon, they go like, all right, well, for a one-time courtesy, we'll, you know, we'll replace this item and send it out. It's like the photo that the guy took. Here's the beauty of it. the fo- You know how the Amazon drivers, like, take a photo of the thing when they leave it? The size of the bag in the photo, the way he, like, laid a bag on my porch, an empty bag, the keyboard couldn't have possibly been inside of it. The way, just how tiny the bag was folded up and stuck in a corner of my porch. So like I, my, my thing to Amazon was like, look at the photo he took. This is not me saying, here's the thing on my porch. That's the photo he took. There, there cannot possibly be a, a keyboard in that bag. Look at it. Look at it. It's an empty bag. Look at it. And they were like, all right, well, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. And I'm like, benefit of the doubt? Look at it. Look at it. And they replaced it. But, you know, you know that went on my, like, record or whatever. Meanwhile, like, what's this Amazon driver doing? Stealing keyboards? So now I noticed this thing they started doing in my deliveries. Like, anytime the delivery is over, like, 100 bucks, if it's like, I have, um, you don't need to know what I have coming. But I have something coming like a piece of equipment, and now they want a password. So, like, the Amazon driver now knocks on my door, and I have to give him a a password in order to get my package. And my guess is that this is, like, to stop drivers from stealing stuff. So yesterday, like, this thing came while I was doing a show, and then I uh, it got rerouted to delivery today. And then I just get an Amazon notification that's on the way again. It's ten stops away. Here at six twenty in the morning, my package is six stops or ten stops away. So I hope everybody's awake at six fifty two to answer your door and give your Amazon driver a password. Is that? I don't know. Literally, like, he won't hand over the package. He's like, you got your password? And I have to go, like, 026493. And he goes, all right. All right. You can have your SSDs. Here you go. Here you go. DK. Oh, boy. First order of business to right this sinking ship is to fire the COO of Steel Blow. He's up. My second wife, April LaRue, has been focused too much on meth and other dongs while shirking her responsibility of mailing out awful stickers and iron on t-shirt patches. That's why we are failing bye-bye cups. (laughs) See? Now you can spend $50 on a voice chat. That's the first time you've been able to do that. You've never been able to blow so much money on a voice chat before. And that's why DK is a great, great man. (laughs) All right, so it is working. That's great. Uh, Kip Dunnage, all care towing really hooked him up right. All care. Oh, yeah. He has a towing sponsor, and he was snowed in. That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Here's uh, Steel Toe this morning. And boy, oh, boy. It, what what I want to focus on is, again, the same thing Chad has to deal with when he comes back from a weekend playing with Nick Swartz in a sandbox of comedy. Chad has to come back and go, it was so great not paying attention to this world. It was so great. I didn't watch any of that. Again, we all know this is coming from Chad. He has one script. He says the same thing over and over and over again. His life is a loop, a failure loop. So he's got to come back and he's got to go, I, this world's stupid. I didn't pay attention to any of it. I was doing real comedy. I was doing real life. I was out doing real stuff. This is all dumb. None of this matters. You guys are all gay. 
Meanwhile, that's his daily life. His daily life is you guys, the dumb losers, the everyday Bill from Jersey scrounging around for $28 every time he does a podcast. That's a fact. That's a fact. So he's got, again, it's one foot in in this world because he needs it. He does need it. It's the only place he has any kind of relevancy or name. And second of all, he has to pretend like he's too good for it and outside it, putting it down. So it's a beautiful thing to watch. And that's what we got from Mubi this morning because Mubi is over here like... <laughs> Mubi's over here like literally every day telling us he has twice the audience of me. His show's growing. They have a combined uh, viewership every month of 50,000 viewers. Um, Rumble, Twitter, Kick, Facebook. It's growing. It's growing. Sorry. Sorry if you don't believe Steel Toe's growing, but we are. Coupled with the rant from this morning. Things are tight. These past months have been hard. We've kind of given up on the show. He's going to admit all this. That we haven't been paying attention. We've kind of given up. We've kind of tapped out. We've kind of let it go. We kind of let go of our... By the way, this is their only job. This is their career. He talks a little bit about how he got April out of the factory work. And boy, he really enjoyed doing that. So she didn't have to suffer. But how it's not working out money-wise. It's, it's, I love these mornings because they're almost like, it's almost like a sober moment for Aaron Emholt. April's gone. He doesn't want to worry her. So he can finally openly talk about the situation and the, the show's finances. And God, it's just pathetic what we're about to see. You ready for it? Here we go. Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back in the studio again. Oh, and I'm glad to be here. I really am. I don't make any money away from home. Whoa, right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. I'm glad to be here. I don't make any money away from home. I don't make any money away from home. Okay. Holy shit. We're not in the main studio. People don't really feel like uh, throwing us any bucks last when we're not in the main studio, hold on. Are you commandeering Nick Ricada's house? Is this now your secondary studio? Is that your annex studio? Is this your tertiary studio? What are we, the main studio? Did you guys know that the Ricadas are now part of the Steel Toe Morning Show Network? <laughs> yeah, unless we're over here in the main studio. <laughs> okay. We're not in the main studio. People don't really feel like uh, throwing us any bucks. Last night, we got our fucking asses kicked. So here's what I'm going to ask today. I hate to start the show off like this. He hates to start the show off like this. Usually, he goes three or four hours without mentioning money. <laughs> he never he never starts a show mentioning money. And he hates to do it. He hates to do it. You'll hardly ever hear Steel Toe kick off a show and talk about money or goals or what they need, but occasionally, every once in a while, every every little other eon or so, he will kick a show off talking about a goal and money. Knockout today, man. Please, man. Jesus Christ, man. So here's what I'm going to ask today. I hate to start the show off like this. Knockout today, man. Here's what I'm going to ask. I hate to start the show like this. Knock it out, man. Knock it out, bro. Can't take any more L's. <laughs> Hold on, what? Again, this guy never stops pounding his chest and going, oh, we're going to count that as a W for the old steel tail. It's all W's all the time. It, it, it's crazy. Again, uh, uh, Citizen M made a video about this like eight months ago, six months ago, where they had another one of these breakdowns. We can't keep doing this. We got to figure out something else. We got to get rid of the goal. The sponsors don't give. The people don't give anymore. Times are too tough. We do too good of a show to make money like this. Uh, we got to, you know. They do this all the time. Like every six months they have a breakdown like this where they admit it's not working. We're not making a living. 
this this isn't what we wanted it to be. We got to find a better way. Nobody supports us. Every six months, they have a breakdown like this. And, all, and in between those six months breakdowns, it's all, we're growing. We're doing amazing. We beat all the other shows. They, they all follow us. They're all clout chasing, ball wash. It's like. In this in this breakdown this morning, I'm not kidding you. He says it all. He says everything. How little they make. How April's not how April's not doing as well as she did at the factory. How how the listeners are down. How they how they're losing people left and right. He says it out loud. All of it right here on this show this morning. That's wild. Because, again, every other day, it's like we're growing. We're bigger than everybody. Sorry, don't know what to tell you. We're steel toe. I mean, but it all comes out today on this one. It really does. Here we go. This uh, we, we made it up last week. I mean, that's the cool thing about this audience. They always end up making it up, which is very cool. But uh, let's take care of the prime directive today. Let's take care of the money part of it. Johnny and I will take care of the entertainment. This week has been a shit show so far. It's Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday morning. And yesterday they got $200 for Nick Ricada to take off his shirt and dance around in his little tidy orangies. So yesterday was an easy morning. <laughs> and, and 24 hours later he goes, this has been a shit week. I really hope it improves. Johnny, no, I can't have you be a midget today. I'm <laughs> fixing the camera for that reason. I, I can't. I just saw you went into midget mode and I went, oh shit. I don't I don't have it. I don't well, have I was it. fixing it because I got a glimpse of it and I was like, I'm too low. Here's what's crazy. Again, like for a guy who pretends to like be in the know and have a real show, they're both wearing black shirts. Yeah, Johnny's is like bright gray. Like, okay, this is a black shirt. Okay. What is this? How old is this shirt? Again, this color is supposed to be the same as this color. Supposed to be the same as this color. My shirt. Very, very faded. I, I wish to God every morning they have to... Move the cameras, dial the cameras in, exposure, contrast ratio. I mean, every day, every day we have to figure out these cameras. Every day they're moved. As if Johnny does nine other podcasts. As, as if Steel Toe comes in here and shoots glamour shots on the weekends and then has to readjust the frame. Why does it always need to be fixed? Oh, so I, I had to adjust the size. Esoterically? No, 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 no. Oh, like, okay. like, literally, I was, yeah. I looked, I felt midgety, and I, I was like, ah, oh, this ain't cool. So I just had to, I had to resize the window, but I couldn't do it with it sitting there. Well, I tell you what, we're going to have a good day today. We're going to make lots of money. We're going to get everything back. What's crazy is he'll tell you yesterday's shows were amazing. Right after he just told you they made no money. There's no, you know, the quality of the Steel Toe show is always exceptional, but the money is always, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll literally go, yesterday's show was unreal. I can't believe we only got $50. And today we have another unreal, amazing show for you. Back on track because I'm stressed out to begin the week for multiple reasons. Again, on a Tuesday, this guy's like, he's going through it. And then, of course, a very good show today. That's the plan. So Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo, I mean that. Uh, if you Oh, he means it today. If you haven't contributed to this show in a while, please. You're the only reason it stays alive. You're the only reason I can even do this. Um, it's, uh, it's... When you put it like that, it, it makes you really mad at the fans, doesn't it? <laughs> you guys could end this. You guys could make this all go away tomorrow. This could be, we could really make this all go away tomorrow if you guys just stop giving them dollars. <laughs> Do this or don't. There's no hobbies uh, for me. It's, uh... Do this or don't. This is not a hobby for me. 
listen to the pain and worry in his voice here. Even do this. Um, please, you're the only reason it's... Venmo, I mean that. Uh, if you haven't contributed to this show in a while, please, you're the only reason it stays alive. You're the only reason I can even do this. Um, it's, uh, it's do this or don't. There's no hobbies, uh, for me. It's, uh, you can do podcasting as a hobby. I feel like if you have, like, no, no kids, you know, and you have no, like, life or home or, you know, anything you need to take care of. Right. There's really no bills. No bills. If, uh, if you got bills and you got kids and you got stuff like that, whatever you're doing, you got to kind of lean. Look at this body language. Protecting the abdomen, vulnerability. He does this all the time, this thing about bills and kids. As if you and I don't have bills and kids. They do this all the time. Sorry that we haven't mailed out sweatshirts and stickers in months, you guys. April's sick. What? We're sick. We get sick. We have bills. It's not unique. All, all, all the time, you're like, yeah, sorry, we had to run around and plan a birthday party. Couldn't do a show. You don't get to take off work when your daughter needs a birthday party planned? Fuck Charlotte. Now we know his daughter's name is Charlotte. What a better time for Charlotte to learn. She don't get what she wants all the time. Okay? That's why she has to go to daddy's on the weekend. Lean into it. You know? You gotta... This he, needs to work, unfortunately. Like, yes. No if. if this doesn't work... This needs to work, unfortunately. Or, or what? Or what? Sorry, guys. We don't really have a choice. You do have to give money here. This has to pay our bills. Or what? Kids, you got stuff like that. Whatever you're doing, you got to kind of lean into it. You know? You got to... This you, needs to work, unfortunately. Like, yes. You know, if, if this doesn't work, something else has to work. That's, right. that's how life works. If you're like, okay... Oh, wow. Regular rules? Look, if, uh, if I can't do a show... And uh, if the audience says, look, I like your show, but I can live without it. I don't need to give you any money. Uh, then you go, okay, I got to go do something else now. Yes. Yeah. We don't even like your show and we can live without it. <laughs> oh, and I got to lean into that just as hard because I don't want to lose my children and have my house taken away. Jesus. I mean, again, who says this out loud? To the public on a radio station. And by the way, is this grinting? I'm new to grinting, so I am learning about it. I, I have a feeling that it's a thing that trolls just say about anything. Oh, wow. He's talking about losing his house. Here comes a grint. You know, I have a feeling it's one of those things, like everything's a grint. If you talk about, sorry, we're late today. The car broke down. You're like, oh, boy, here comes a muffler grint. So is it just like everything else? Is it like cope and seethe and all that stuff where we're just calling everything everything? <laughs> he literally just said, I'm going to lose my kids in my house if this doesn't work. And I can't let that happen. If you're like, okay, look, if, uh, if I can't do a show and uh, if the audience says, look, I like your show, but I can live without it. I don't need to give you any money. Uh, then you go, okay, I got to go do something else now, and I got to lean into that just as hard because I don't want to lose my children and have my house taken away. Jesus. Holy shit. That, the food is really nice. I'd like to keep it. Yeah, I'd like to keep the food. Uh, Pork Chopstock says this is going to be memorable. And again, it's really tough. Sorry. Like, it just is. If I came on here every day and was like, Guys, I just don't have enough money to keep the show going. I might lose my house. I might lose my kids. I can't afford food. Because that is essentially what just came out of his mouth. Things are getting tough. Meanwhile, every morning, sending the wife out to the gas station for Hostess cupcakes and hash browns. Coming back. Again, I know this is petty and dumb, and you're all going like, what's the big deal? Some gas station snacks. I guarantee it's like $24 worth of shit. 
a few energy drinks, some hash browns, some cupcakes. We're going to pretend like they don't share us. Uh, they, they don't both get a pack of Virginia Slims and smoke them all day. You know Aaron smokes Virginia Slims. So say whatever you want. It's $20 at a gas station here and there every fucking day with this energy drink garbage. You know when April's running errands and stuff, she's always stopping off for an energy drink. You know, every time they go to the gym at night, they stop off for an energy drink and a Jersey Mike's. They talk about this stuff all the time. So it's hard for us to have sympathy and be like, wow, they really can't afford the bills. They're going to lose their kids. When meanwhile, they're on, you know, the pre-made Rice Krispie Treat aisle at the gas station every day getting airheads and, and blow pops and shit. That say whatever you want. It's a key indicator of a poor. Just just buying gas station trinkets and snacks and garbage every fucking day, while complaining about not having enough money to keep your children or the roof over their head. Okay. Okay. I mean, really, he just dropped that. We, uh, you know, we got to be able to pay these bills. We got to keep the kids. We got to keep the house. Anyway, here's my diet Mountain Dew. Yeah, that was yesterday's show at uh, when we got snowed in. We at- keep going to the Ricadas. We go on vacations. Not sending out your shit. They've been to the Ricadas two weekends in a row instead of mailing out your stuff that you paid for. But they need your money because they got more taquitos to buy. At, uh, in Spicer at the Ricadas, and we did the show from there. Which, by the way, that show is uh, blocked on YouTube. Not on Rumble. You can go on Rumble, watch it all day long. Why, why is it blocked on you- what because you? Because we do? played 30 seconds of a fucking Saturday Night Live clip from nine years ago. Good it's God. Get, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting I, really silly. It was yeah. Well. Rumble's stupid, though. Uh, Pete Davidson, and the clip had to do with the sex teacher thing we were talking about. Right, where he's like, I'm tired of getting high fives. Yeah. And just that whole bit. Yeah, all the nicknames yeah. he's getting in school. This is interesting. Uh, coming in from Moody, he says, on October 19th, Aaron said he will not be asking for donations in a year, and the show will have a drastically different financial model, or he will quit. We're almost six months on and nothing has changed. His begging has only gotten more desperate. Can we get a countdown timer? Yeah, maybe we need an Imholt divorce timer for the career. <laughs> when they're gonna when they're gonna finally say I don't to radio. On October nineteenth, Aaron said he will not be asking for donations in a year. So the nineteenth is a significant day for Steel Toe. June nineteenth was the day he proclaimed rumble sucks it's not worth streaming to of course june 25th he was back on rumble full time it was the best thing ever they saved the show now on october 19th aaron says he'll no longer be asking by october 19th of this year he will not be asking for donations in a, in a year and the show have a drastically different model sorry i just did a granola bar burp I had an apple cinnamon granola bar for breakfast, and it really is hitting my spots. Uh, uh, on some, uh, first of all, first of all, my wife is available to monkey around on your porch <laughs> waiting for Amazon for uh, 30 grand a year. Oh, God. Please, please, please have your wife monkey around on my porch. All of that. And uh, a whole bit. Yeah, all the nicknames yeah. he's getting in school, all of that. And uh, fucking 30 seconds of the goddamn clip. And Jesus. 15 minutes after the show's over, I get an email. You're, uh, uh, this video has been blocked. And then yesterday, I don't know what the fuck we played on last night's show. I don't remember last night's show because we made like 50 bucks. I don't remember the show because we made 50 bucks. Interesting statement. The reason you can't remember the show is because of how much money you made. 
I don't even remember shows where we make 50 bucks. But hold on. Shows where you made 50 bucks before you come on the next day and go, I don't know why we only made 50 bucks. It was an amazing show. It was a great show. So why'd you forget? And mm. uh, just got fucking obliterated. Oh, right. Swinger hovel. Saturday night, Sunday day, Sunday night, Monday day, Monday night. Imagine this Nick Ricada's wife going like, how long are these people going to be in our house? They're snowed in. They don't have a change of clothes. Aaron's doing, Aaron did a, a, three shows in the same t-shirt. Meanwhile, you got his wife just licking Nick up and down every show. Saying he looks like an Abercrombie model. I can't do a show uh, outside of this studio anymore. The audience doesn't contribute. It That's Again, we've heard some crazy excuses for the reason the audience doesn't give. You know? One of my favorite ones last year was, it's because the show's so good. Remember this? Bad shows get super tipped because the audience is bored, so they're just fiddling around for buttons, and they see a super tip button, and they're like, well, the show sucks. I got to do something. I might as well give some money. And the problem with our show is it's such a good show, and we engage the audience so well, and we're so captivating with our, with our deep knowledge and stories that they don't give. You know, good shows don't get money. That's the problem. We, this was all real. He really did this cup last year. And now he's now he's now the one is uh well we can't do shows outside of this studio. This studio is where the magic is. This is what makes people give. I can't do shows outside this studio. People just don't give. I can <laughs> He's saying you got to give like it's the calicocutpants.com. If you don't give it goes away. You got to give can't do a show uh, outside of this studio anymore. The audience doesn't contribute. It doesn't work. It's stressful. I don't like it. He doesn't like it, but he did three shows in a row from Nick Ricada's desk this weekend. He doesn't like it, but they just stayed there for three days. Again, I guarantee against nobody wants you in their house for three days. Nobody. Uh, I'm doing the shows from here from now on, or I just have to cancel. I got it. I mean, we all know this isn't true. The reason they try to have a life by going and hanging out with their friends or Ricadas, and then they're like, yeah, we'll just do a show while we're there. You know, Aaron, he can't miss a show. This idea that, yeah, next time we're not in the studio here, we'll just have to cancel the show. You don't cancel shows. You don't cancel shows. I got to figure out how to make that. I, I mean, it. I got to figure out how to make money <laughs> four years into this. I got to figure out how to make money again, both him and Mersh keep like Mersh flaunts $4,000 saying it's the most money you've ever heard in your life. Aaron puts down every other show says he's the pro show. They're growing. They have double the audience of everybody else. Yada, yada, yada. Meanwhile, he can't figure out how to make money. Again, Mer I, I, I'm sorry. Mersh did crack me up a little bit on that WATP uh, thing. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Mersh can be funny. Sure. Sure. Here, Here's the thing. Mersh can never call anyone else a loser. Mersh can never, never make fun of somebody else's financial situation. Mersh can never, ever, ever make fun of somebody else's living situation. We've seen the dude. He lives in squalor. Every year of his life, for the past decade and a half, he's begged for money on Facebook to help him start a podcast or get a lawyer or get out of jail or get a new apartment or fix a car he drunk drove into a wall or fix a car he irresponsibly bought and keeps falling apart. It's like, never in my life. And again, this isn't to shame anybody who's ever had to turn to their community or family or friends or loved ones for help. But you don't get to wag your finger at everybody when you're constantly clamoring for cash for cat food and cigarettes. You fucking loser. <laughs> no one's saying you can't be funny. No one's saying you're irredeemable. What we're saying is shut up. You don't ever, ever, ever get to tell anybody again about how to live or how it is or money. You're a poor. 
you're a permanently poor person. Again, there's three documentaries about what a fuck up your life is, and I think you're in your 30s? Like, Jesus Christ. So again, I'll, I'll hang out with the guy. I'd have a beer. I'm not, he's not irredeemable garbage, but yeah, you don't ever get to like tell anybody how it is again. Have you seen the shows on you? Have you seen all your Facebook posts? Anything you can give, uh, any little bit helps. It's like, it's you guys are the same person. You're both telling everybody else that you have big shows. Meanwhile, you never stop begging for help. Again, find the era where NLO needed you or it was going to (laughs) die. I just got to get my car out of the, I just got to get it. I just need a little money for rent. I just got to find a new place to never in my life, never in my life. How unstable. (laughs) The show's always been on, you know, a razor's edge um, Mm -hmm. since we. He's in his forties. Okay. Sorry about that. Left radio, but it's just, I mean, it's. It's good week, good week, good week, good week, good week. So even while he's sitting here telling you that it's not working, he's stressed, they need money, it's not going well, he's still got to recap for you how great everything is. Look, you know, usually it's we're rich, we're rich, we're rich, we're killing it, we're making more than anybody forever, forever. Again, is this how it goes for anyone else? We're the best, we're the best, we're hitting goals, we're hitting goals, we're making more money, we're the best, we have the biggest audience, everything's awesome, everything's awesome. Oh, God, I'm so stressed, please send in money. Oh, God, we've got to find a way, oh, God. We're winning, we're winning, steel toe rules, everything's great, another win for the old toe. Oh, we hit the goals, the haters hate it, oh, they all hate it, they wish we were doing bad, what a horrible way to live, steel toe's killing it. Oh, God, we need money. Oh, God, please help me out of this mess. Do you know what I mean? It's manic. It's like, it's you never stop telling us, how well it's going and how good you're doing. And then every once in a while, we just find you with a needle hanging out of your arm going, oh, please give. Jesus Christ, we're broke. Please give. <laughs> what if you just what if you just stayed steady, you know? I, I'm never really begging hard, and I'm never really over here going like we're killing it, you know? Well, we do fine. We do fine. We have nights like Saturday where people, <laughs> was it, 210 memberships? In like 30 minutes. And then we have days like today where it's trickling in. I'm not going to let it affect my mood. I'm not going to let it affect my mood. Also, it changes from hour to hour, minute to minute. You never know. You never know. Why bring your audience down with this shit? And again, like watching you makes me feel like I'm off my meds because you're so manic. You can never stop telling us how well you're doing, how much you're winning. You hit goals, hit goals, hit goals. You're killing it. You're killing it. Vacation, making money, big birthday party. Only the only the best things will do. Running around town, no substitutions. Gas station hash browns left and right. Meanwhile, every three months, we just a breakdown show. Oh God, this isn't working. We got to keep the house. Anybody have any ideas about where we could keep our kids? Oh, oh God, we're not getting money. You know, it's like Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. Are you okay? <laughs> Thought you guys were huge. Thought you were killing it. Radio, but it's just, I mean, it's its good week, good week, good week, good week, good week. And, like, shit's on such a hair trigger with this show the last couple of years. What? You just had your ninth anniversary show with headliner Leela Hart? You guys just lost your website because you couldn't afford the domain name. You got you guys are eating gas station hash browns and taking shits mid show. You sure it's taking a downturn? Is there any way that it could be what you guys put in? Is there any way? I'm not, you know, I don't want to point fingers, but a year ago when I found you, there's no way that Aaron M. Holt would get up and take naked shits in the middle of the show and allow his wife to get up and run around and act like an asshole in a bikini or run up and down stairs for kale chips and snacks and little covert lines of blow here and there. No prep, reading the chat, legs up on the chair, holding your knee, rocking back and forth. 
it's a totally different show. Banning anybody who says any any inkling of a troll or a yeah, the show's gone, man. The show's again. Put any show from a year ago or two years ago up against this. It's this is absolute vapid garbage. This is nothing. So again, maybe it's what you put in. Maybe it's what you put in. This. I thought you've been growing. You remember your T-shirts? Re reborn again, again. Steel toes back. No keeping the toe down. Baby boot power. It's crazy to hear you admit that the show has been in trouble for years. And like shit's on such a hair trigger with this show the last couple of years that like a bad day and you're like, shit, if that becomes a problem, we're fucked. If that becomes a trend, we're in trouble. Yeah, like I can miss one and get it back later in the week. So when he misses a goal, it causes stress. One goal. One goal. Now, Ball Powder says it's April's fault. I mean, look, it. In, in a way, it's Aaron's fault. Aaron thought April could do this. He got pussy whipped. He got blinded by pussy. And again, you know, a April's pussy. So, ugh, how easy is this guy to dupe? He got so blinded by that pussy, he thought that she'd be great on the radio. Wow, this would be great. April can blow me on the brakes, and she can quit her job, and then I just have a concubine at the ready anytime I... Want to turn and put my dick in this. The problem is when you're not doing well, nobody wants your dick. April knows you're a failure, whether or not she says it out loud or not. April knows it's not going well. And Mooby knows that, and ca that causes his little shrimp dick to not even work. You think these two are, like, fucking? No. Listen to him. Listen to him. Apply this to your own template of your own relationship, your own marriage. Things aren't going well. You don't have enough money to get by. You're you're just hardcore fucking. No. No, you aren't. No, you're not. You know it. I know it. Ain't nobody fucking while there's money troubles. Ain't nobody having no good fucking while there's money troubles. That's a fact. April knows you're a fucking failure. She sees the writing on the wall. If she don't already have a part-time job, which we speculate she does, she's definitely headed towards it. There ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about it. She's spinning towards it, and she knows it. Her husband failed her. Her husband failed the family. Is this why Ashley LaRue left? Again, when an independent author thinks you're a loser, it's rough. It's rough. How many books could Ashley LaRue have possibly sold? 82? You know, and 14 of them were to Chad? But she thinks this guy's a loser. You tell me. I have to be perfectly honest. We should have an um, anniversary to acknowledge the way I work the abonics. I, too, work the abonics. I, too, work the abonics. But, like, we're at the point now where missing by 150 is, like, half your month's profits. How about that? How about what he just said? We're at the point where missing by 150 is half... Your month's profits. Half your month. That's 300, folks. That's $300. Again, this happens from time to time where he gets real open and raw. So imagine how rough it's going to be Thursday when he's pounding his chest, telling us they're the biggest show, they're doing fine, sorry, they're the only pros. Every we, we, Anyone could just look back and go, 300 a month, 300 a month is your profit. You said it out loud. But like, we're at the point now where missing by 150 is like half your month's profits. <laughs> and you're like, oh. How do you keep up this guise of growth? How do you keep up this, this bravado, this puffed up nature where you're telling everybody you're bigger and better and growing and sorry, sorry if you don't see that we're big, sorry if you don't see that we're growing.
That must be a rough way to live, thinking Steel Toe's not kicking ass. <laughs> Woo! Right now we're missing by 150 is like half your month's profits. <laughs> and you're like, I'm, I'm bringing this thing down to even at this point. They're breaking even. Now, I don't even believe that. I don't even believe that. I, I believe they've been hurting for a while. You think they're breaking even? I, I got myself a job. Don't forget, they paid Johnny. <laughs> I got my wife a job. I can pay Johnny a little something for coming on the show. Job. Wait, listen, listen to this. Again, enjoy it. This will all be gone tomorrow. He'll be back on top. Steel Toes, number one. Like, I can miss one and get it back later in the week. But, like, we're at the point now where missing by 150 is, like, half your month's profits. <laughs> You're like, I'm, I'm bringing this thing down to even at this point. I, I got myself a job. I got my wife a job. I can pay Johnny a little something for coming on the show. I can pay uh, the taxes and everything else. And then after that, fuck, I basically, I, you know, people talk about the goal, the goal, the goal. The goal it basically gives me a job, and that's it. Right. This is what we've been saying. You have to go now. You don't get to do this for a living. The people have spoken. Again, I, I, I've been doing, I, I, I w marched into my office in 2009 and quit my, my last full-time job, or part-time job for that matter, Last time I ever worked for another man, 2009. Never once been in trouble since. Never once has this show come close to not covering my nut. Not once in 15 fucking years. If four years in, I kept having to have this conversation and a tally on top of my, you know, 300 a day, guys. 300 a day, guys. I mean, it's just such a selfish, shitty way to live. Guys, I got to get my 300 a day. Got to get my 300 a day. Meanwhile, you know, again, a lot of the people who contribute money to this program, that program, any program, you know what you make. $20 an hour, $15 an hour, $25 an hour, 50 bucks, 50000 a year, whatever it is. You're doing the math and going, I don't make 300 a day. And I also work longer. I also try. Again, maybe when they were trying and came in with topics and doing their cornball morning radio show, that show's even gone. Remember, we used to be like, ah, oh, shucks, it's for some people. You know, they do a cornball morning radio thing. Like, it is what it is. For what it is, like, they do it. Not anymore. It's just, like, done. It's done. They fire it up and just start. Reading the chat, it's all cope, it's all addressing the haters every day, every day, every day. <laughs> just, just wild that you would keep down this path. I got myself a job, I got my wife a job, but we gotta. If there is no good fucking when there be money troubles, then riddle me this, round boy. Where did all these BB kids crotch monsters come from? Dumb honky. Hey, buddy. Yeah, it's a good point. It's a good point. A lot of poor fucking going on. I'm bringing this thing down to even. It no, it, look, poor people fuck. Poor people have good sex. Middle class people who become poor, it's, it don't have good sex. This is anxiety. This is, you're saying Aaron's O face. It's O oh, fuck, we're out of money. O oh, fuck, I don't have rent. Oh, fuck, I can't pay child support. Oh, fuck, I got to send April back to the factory. And again, I think she'd have to start over at entry level. Let's not act like, she, you know, she's going to, like, go straight to the executive wing of the factory and start telling people how it is. Baby girl is spun. You know what I mean? Like, she's going to be drug tested regularly. She's not going to be allowed to have keys to any of the equipment. Oh, it's his zero face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, say whatever you want, man. Say whatever you want. This is panic. Panic. Peak. 
But, like, we're at the point now where missing by 150 is, like, half your month's profits. <laughs> and you're like, I'm, I'm bringing this thing down to even at this point. I, I got myself a job. I got my wife a job. I can pay Johnny a little something for coming on the show. I can pay uh, the taxes and everything else. And then after that, fuck, I basically, I, you know, people talk about the goal, the goal, the goal. The goal it basically gives me a job, and that's it. Let him go. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody getting wealthy uh, <laughs> off of those goals. So knock them out. Thank you very much. I'm stressed out from yesterday. Thank you to Los Federales for carrying the entire weight from yesterday and uh, putting the whole goal into it. Uh yeah, so one guy gave him 200 yesterday morning. That's all they made. Sunday night, Monday morning, Monday night. Woof. Uh, that's awesome. He wanted to see uh, Rakeda shirtless. So I said, fuck it. Okay. He said, fuck it. Okay. And he did the thing. And uh, that helps a lot because when we're there, I don't know what it is. I don't know if people don't like the setup. I don't know if it's the fact that we're not home. People think it's weird. Uh, we make nothing when we're there. And we just, I simply can't. I got I to gotta watch this business, man. I got Okay, you're about to hear some more good inside info. Hello. When Aaron was in Egypt land, let my let April go. Aaron go. <laughs> ah. I got to watch this show because listen to him talking about he's got to watch this business. He's going to admit that they thought they were flying high and just took their eyes off the ball. It's what, but this is what happens when you talk out of the side of your ass. This is what happens when you gaslight yourself in real time. They're drowning. They're out of money and it's going horrible. It's not, it's not warning. It's not. Yeah. 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 We gotta, it's bad. It's very bad. And the only way it got like that is because it was trending bad for eight months. And we've been calling it. We've been watching it. We watched the numbers go down. We watched the subscriber numbers stagnate and all out stall. And we've watched our goals not be hit, not be hit, not be hit, not be hit. And all the while, he's chosen to gaslight himself and his stupid little seafood-smelling wife. We're growing. We're bigger than ever. Steel Toe's doing fine. I don't know what to tell you. Our haters hate it, but we're kicking ass. We're bigger than we've ever been. We're growing. Saying all this out loud and ignoring the fires in the back. And now the fire's worked its way up to the front, and he's like, I don't know what to tell you. We got to figure something out. This is getting very bad. Right. Right. We've been telling you that for eight months. We've been warning you about this for eight months. Welcome to your new show, Aaron. Welcome. Oh, it's getting bad? You don't make any profit? You don't have any money? You need to start paying attention to this business? No shit. No Shit. <laughs> we've, been, we've been saying it for a year. No effort. No effort. The banner. The only thing you've done to your show in a year is, is an exercise in pure, pure vanity. Buying yourself a mic arm that not only blocks your face and makes your show look worse, but it causes you to fucking fiddle like an autistic spaz the entire show. We watched that clip on NatClo 2.0's documentary of you both with the microphone in front of your face, centered, small, on the on the tabletop stand. Much better. But you had to get a mic, mic arm so that you feel like you're still doing radio. This is all about Aaron feeling like he's still doing radio. No real effort into this show. No real anything. Matter of fact, it's just slipped and slid. No prep reading the chat, rambling on, up and down, taking breaks, farting, eating, drinking, traveling, shitting, doing drugs, coming back, farting, eating, giggling, run to the store. I mean, 
yeah, I wonder why it's all gone downhill. And, and thank God you're finally awake at the wheel. Okay. And he did the thing. And uh, that helps a lot because when we're there, I don't know what it is. I don't know if people don't like the setup. I don't know if it's the fact that we're not home. People think it's weird. Uh, we make nothing when we're there. And we just, I simply can't. I got I to gotta watch this business, man. I got to watch this show because. I got to watch this business, man. Because. Holy fuck, it gets stressful some days. Uh, so thank you guys for keeping us on the air is what I'm trying to say. Keep keeping us on the air. You see the links in the chat. Whenever you feel like it and you're watching the show, we do need you. If you're someone who's like, oh, they, they knock it out. But yeah, you know, sometimes it's because the same guy fucking bails us out. Sometimes. Half the time, it's one guy. Half the time. So if you're watching and you're like, oh, they don't need me. I just kind of sit here and watch the show. Throw in a couple bucks every once in a while. It means the world to me. It, it doesn't. It do not only does it not mean the world to him, it doesn't mean anything to him. To this very moment, if you go over to his chat room right now and give $2, it doesn't move the goal one bit. Now listen again to what he said here. I just kind of sit here and watch the show. Throw in a couple bucks every once in a while. It means the world to me. It Throw in a couple of bucks. It means the world to me. Now, look, the fact of the matter is they're uh, approaching 600 people watching this show live right now. Hit the like button, by the way. You guys can make it get over 200 instantly right now. Just hit that like button. Take a second. Open up your app on the shitter. Click over to the other tab, hit the like button. Come on. But think about that. There's f close to 600 people watching. If uh, if everyone gave a couple bucks, I'd walk out of here with $1,200. Very, very good payday. Now, look, that'll never happen. But very, very good payday. And you'd be stupid to not walk away with that $1,200 and go, that's fucking awesome. And everybody just contributed a couple bucks. Like, that's a cool, that's a cool way to do a show. That never happens at Aaron's. Despite the fact that he explicitly tells you all the time, everyone throw in a couple dollars, it means the world to me. Me, I just kind of sit here and watch the show. Throw in a couple bucks every once in a while, it means the world to me. It doesn't even come off the goal when you give $2. It's as if it never existed. It doesn't even come off the goal, but it means the world to him. I'm trying to figure out what this psychological trick is. Anybody know? Give me a couple dollars. It means the world. We don't count it at all. We only count the big ones. But it means the world. It really does, and... Uh... It keeps us doing this stupid fucking thing. And um, again, okay, if you have to beg this much, you don't get to stay what you are. Imagine if the manager of the McDonald's is out in the parking lot like, guys, please, please get more than a get more than a value meal. Check out the apple pies. Our drinks have a really good profit margin on there. Get a drink for all the kids. Guys, keep helping us help you. We want to keep being McDonald's. Get in here and get some nuggets. Come on. Everybody pick up a Happy Meal and some nuggets. We'll knock this thing out. You ever at Costco? They're like, come on, get the trampoline. Get the trampoline. Help us keep being Costco. We can't keep co being Costco unless you buy the jumbo bag or box of raisins. No other, no other anything works like this. You know? Government agencies don't beg for budget increases from, from the federal government with this much desperation behind it. We're not going to be able to go up and get those astronauts from the ISS if we don't get our NASA budget increase this year. Oh, well. I mean, fuck. I just, guys, we can't keep doing a show if you don't give us money. 
We we steel toe will go away unless you yes yeah regular rules. Everything goes away if it doesn't get supported. I mean, imagine to keep telling you this, like it's some unique situation he's in. The thing about steel toe is we need money to keep going. Oh oh, we didn't know. Yeah, it's interesting. The thing about steel toe is if we don't get three hundred dollars a day, we can't do this. We'd have to get real jobs. Oh. Fuck, we didn't know. Here, take it all. <laughs> yeah, we all know. We know how it works. It works like everything else in the world. But he he keeps telling you, like, it's new information. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but, you know, we can't keep doing this without you. It's like, we know. Also, apparently you can. You know, the support is just all but disappeared and you keep going and keep going you never shut up about it for real here's a fin for your chinchilla oh my fin chilla what appreciate it so knockout today the weather here has been a fucking nightmare i drove last night it was terrible oh give him some money guys he had to drive Again, what do these people think we do? <laughs> Guys, we have bills piling up. Guys, we need money to pay for stuff. Guys, I was driving last night. It was crazy. The it, It's not even, it, like, we got a break from the snow when I left. When, I, when, when April and I had left, the snow had stopped. Like, we got a break right. from that. The fucking wind. It, it's just, I mean, there's snow just stuck to the road. It's Hello, awful. Exactly. It's terrible. I'm trying to keep up because we got snowed in. Like, I'm trying to knock out the whole driveway. I did a little last night. I did a little today. The plows keep coming through. You guys know. Snow. Again, we missed by 150 last night. I'm just, I'm just fucking stressed. It's Tuesday. He's not kidding. He missed one goal. He's losing his mind. $150. $150. He's losing his mind. He's like, I don't know what to do. Uh, it snowed. We don't have any money. <laughs> he's now hugging his leg. He's got his leg up in the chair. He's hugging his little shorts leg. Um, I'm sorry, man. It's all right. Again, this is the beginning of a show. <laughs> Are you fired up for your work day? I just, <laughs> I got to make sure we can keep this thing going. Why? Why? You were at Chuck E. Cheese. Why didn't you get applications? You were there. You were there. By the way, you had planned an amazing party. You could have gone back to the manager and say, I'm a great planner. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just got to make sure we can keep this going. Why? No one wants this. No one. No one. 270 people are watching your show. No one wants it. We've seen it. We tried. It's shit. We want you and your wife to die now behind the counter of a bowling alley or a hardware store. Keys made while you wait. That's what we want. That's what we want. The only one bummed out about Steel Toe possibly going off the air is Steel Toe. Who are you talking to? Guys, we got to find a way to keep this going. Why? No one enjoys it except you and April. This is literally the keep you guys from having to get a job show. Be real, dog. Be real with the people. This is the we don't want to work show. Fuck you. You disrespect it. You got called out a year ago when I started making fun of your show with valid, valid reasons and things that you could improve that you were ignoring. 
and you shit in everybody's mouth and said, yeah, right, we're the two. We're the only ones doing the real shit. And I go, oh, yeah, watch this. And as a joke, started doing a daily morning show that has eclipsed your lives. Again, as a bit, as a funny, as a ha-ha, as a hoo-hoo-hee-hee. Who are you talking to? You got to help Steel to survive. Who are you talking to? No one cares but you. This is just you begging to not have to work. And it's almost in those words you're doing it. I'm trying to knock out the whole driveway. I did a little last night. I did a little today. I got to keep this going. I can't admit to my second wife that I failed. Uh, uh, Think about April. Having to slink back to that factory after three years and going, are you hiring? Think about it. So we all have to keep shoveling money over to these idiots because they're too proud to admit that they have to go back to work. Sorry. Sorry. Plows keep coming through. Again, we missed by 150. The plows keep coming and they don't stop coming. Last night, I'm just... I'm just fucking stressed. Um, I'm sorry, man. It's all right. I just. I'm sorry, man. I got to make sure we can keep this thing going. I, ah! I got to make sure we can keep this thing going. Got to make sure. I got, I got to make sure we can be responsible. Like, I'm frustrated about a lot of shit. Oh, boy. You ready? It's been taking forever to get these fucking prizes out, and it is bothering me a lot because that kind of shit turns people away. Whoa! Now, remember a week ago, they told people who were saying, where are our stickers, where are our hoodies, where are our shirts, where are our prizes? They told them, calm down. April's sick. Just wait. Two months people have been waiting. Just wait. Calm down. Get over it. Remember, April said, oh, I hope you're okay without your shirt. And again, she's got a point. But they made a mockery of it last week. Now now Aaron's on top of it. Now he's going to throw April under the bus. And it is bothering me a lot because that kind of shit turns people away, like loyal people away, when you don't get that shit out. It's funny, Moody says begging turns people away. No. No. Drive-by says seeing Aaron (laughs) sweat and squirm over money makes for an extremely fun show. I mean, this one has everything. This one, he's stressing about everything. It's so great. He admits here that they've just taken their, their foot off the gas. They've neglected the show. They don't put anything into it. Again, their website's gone. They don't have a store. Who are you kidding? Only, only, they're just saying it to them. Again, they've told themselves the show's growing. We're doing great. You don't have a store anymore. You don't have a website. You're begging for money. You're saying it's failing. You're saying you're making no money. You, you admitted making 300 a month. You're bummed out. You're borderline crying. You've got your co-host going, I'm sorry, man. In the first five minutes of the show, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry things are down. You can't afford your kids. You can't afford your life. You're not making any money. Nobody's watching your show. The numbers are down. I'm sorry, man. It's almost like Johnny's like, where'd this come from all of a sudden? He's been covering it up for months. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it, it's just a cover-up. A- Aaron probably feels blindsided by it because he's like, what do you mean we're down and not kicking ass? What do you mean I don't have money in the account for taquitos and Red Bull? Oh, I've been lying to myself, and the money's not coming in, and the numbers aren't up. Oh, right, 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 right. So I've been talking with April about that. I know she's had her struggles. I. She's the GM. And she does nothing. She doesn't have to do show prep. She doesn't mod the chat. She doesn't do 
anything anymore. She shows up late, fixes her hair for 20 minutes, and doesn't add shit to the show. And by the way, this is April and Aaron's fault. This is Aaron's fault. Again, do you think if April had her factory job and Aaron was doing this, they'd be in financial trouble? No, no. Aaron makes enough to play with his little piddle on the air and pretend he has a job. Aaron could bring home 26 grand a year and contribute to the family. This is all their faults, man. This is all their faults. I know she hasn't felt well. What does she do? What does she do? Hold on. While she's sick, you guys can go to the Ricadas for a weekend. While she's sick, she went to Chuck E. Cheese. While she's sick, she can run to the gas station to get hash browns. While she's sick, she can do all this stuff, but she can't write down addresses and mail out shirts. She can go to the gas station to get hash browns and NOS energy drink, but she can't go to the post office. April's been sick, guys. Enough with the excuses. Again, if my stickers weren't getting mailed out and I had another person in charge of that, and that's all they had to do? Again, it's not like April does any show prep or knows anything or has to do shit. She has to mail out stickers. They don't do thumbnails. They don't update. They don't write to show descriptions. They don't, I mean, it's the laziest show in the world. Who does what? Who does what? A couple clips every week where they get 300 views on them? Who does what? Shane gifting five memberships over here. Thank you very much. Shane M1980. He's always very generous in our chat. Nice, nice man. Uh, right, rinse, rinse wind. Sounds like you're washing a fart. Thank you for becoming a member. Good morning, everybody. You're listening to the Steal Your Money Show. I'm crying M. Halt. The M stands for money. <laughs> All right, we're still just 350 away from the goal. If all of our real fans would just do their part and chip in by donating $50, we can nip this thing in the bud. No, nah, just a couple bucks. He really appreciates it. Way, when you don't get that shit out. So I've been talking with April about that. By the way, that clip was made over a week ago about mailing out shirts and stuff. And then they got backlash for it, and they should have mailed them out immediately. It's been a week and a half. And now he's mad at April. I, I told April, she's got to get that shit out. This is what turns people away from the show. They got made fun of this a week and a half ago for not having it out. Yeah, get it out. Get it out. Yeah, get it out. <laughs> people really get turned away from the show. Right. I know she's had her struggles. I know she hasn't felt well. And I know she need, she has mailers on the way because we ran out of mailers. Nothing's been mailed out for months, and she just ordered mailers. Again, what does this bitch do for a salary? I'm sorry. She's there two mornings a week. What is this bitch doing to earn her salary? What does she do? Come clean with your audience and admit that you tried to give you and your new shiny wife a fucking Effortless life. Come clean. Apologize. I'm sorry. We were making so much money in the beginning. I thought April and I could just coast for the rest of our lives. So I had her quit her job. It's not going well. Somehow, when April quit her job and we had two full time employees, nothing gets done. The show's gone to shit. There's no prep. Nothing gets mailed out. The website's down. The logos are off. The schedule doesn't make any sense. She doesn't show up. We're skipping shows. We're missing shows. Shows go short. How did it help? How did it help bringing baby girl home to work? You fucking idiot. You're taking vacation with other full-grown men in your suite? Is this the life? Is this the life? I can't have, I, I cannot have a prize show. I don't think I can have a prize show tomorrow night. Whoa. 
He can't have a prize show tomorrow night. I can't have. I I cannot have a prize show. T- I don't think I can have a prize show tomorrow night. The reason being, I can't give out prizes to people, and then have seven or eight people in the chat complaining that for two months they haven't gotten their fucking prizes. Uh oh. Right. I can't do that. It's not right. So he can have a a scam lottery every month where he steals your money for, for stickers. But he can't, in good conscience now, run a prize night when the prizes aren't being sent out. I, again, everyone's on pins and needles waiting for their Stoney's paper printed gift card. I can't draw people's names for some shit and have them roll their eyes and go, oh, yeah, I'm sure I'll get that. Yeah, that's on paper. Uh, not that they're paying for them. Like, the, the shit we give away, like Stonies and all that, like, we just give it away to people. Right, because it never gets redeemed. Again, I'd love to see Stoney's books and see how many outstanding gift cards there are. Thousands of dollars, I'd be willing to bet. We had a guy, uh, Dave, won one last year, and he got it in the mail. It was a year old. The date printed on it was it was 2022. So they just got a junk drawer full of these things in their house, you know, these meaningless Stoney's gift cards that are never going to get redeemed. But, like, I'm, I'm frustrated, man. We haven't been paying enough attention to this show. Whoa. We haven't been paying attention to the show. They both work at home. They both live there. They both do a show morning, night, morning, night, morning, night. We haven't been paying enough attention to the show. It's weird because all you do is tell people you do the best show ever. All you do is tell people you're the only ones who can do a pro show. So these, these admissions are startling. We haven't been, they admit it. They, they admit it. They don't put anything into it anymore. Why would it be going well? It, it bothers me a lot. Uh, I, I, I want to knock everything out. I want to keep this thing going. I fucking love doing this show, man. We're, we're really watching a boy come to terms with, with his dream crumbling. Everything he's built falling down before his eyes. He's literally in a fetal position. He's literally got his leg up to his chest. I want to keep doing this, man. I love this show. Fuck. This is what I wanted to do. Ah. I thought this was my job. And I thought you guys liked it. I thought you guys enjoyed this. Ah. We're we're literally watching a guy go, "Oh, shucks. This might not work out for me." I haven't been paying enough attention to this show. It it bothers me a lot. Uh, I, I, I want to knock everything out. I want to keep this thing going. I fucking love doing this show, man. And Oh, you, re- you feel it. You feel it. And when it's good, it's great. <laughs> when it's good, it's great. And when it's great, it's stupendous. And when it's stupendous, it's award-winning. But when it's award-winning, it's bad. <laughs> and I, I just want to see... That that just shows you how he upgrades every fucking thing in his life. When it's good, it's great. And when April's a four, she's an eight. And Minnesota's like a New York. And I'm like an Anthony Cumia. Everything, everything just gets a bump up. Watching him in a fetal position go, I really like this and want to keep doing it. <laughs> I really want to do this. God damn it. I really want to do radio. <sighs> I really want to do it. I really want to keep this going. I told April we could. I told April we could be radio. <laughs> I told April we could be radio. You know, all, you know, just everything go well i gotta you know it's did he just tell everything to go well was that a directive guys i i want to do this show you know so everything 
Go well. <laughs> Imagine looking around the universe and going, everything go well. I don't think that's what he did, but imagine if he did. Everything go well. I got it. And, and we want to knock everything out. I want it. It bothers me ah, a lot. Ah, the shit we give ah, I can't get enough of this. Away, like Stonies and all that. Like, we just give it away to people. But, like, I'm, I'm frustrated, man. We haven't been paying enough attention to this show. It, it bothers me a lot. It's weird because, again, every day they're like, last night's show was amazing. Yesterday's show, amazing show. Fucking amazing show with Johnny yesterday. A great show with April last night. Did you catch that? Worth the rewatch. Every show he comes on telling you how amazing it is, and now all of a sudden out of nowhere, guys, sorry, we dropped the ball. We haven't been paying attention to the show. April hasn't been doing her job. We've been running around playing with the Ricadas. We've kind of just taken our eye off the ball. The money's not good. They're all exceptional shows every day, though. Uh, I, I, I want to knock everything out. I want to keep this thing going. I fucking love doing this show, man. And, and ah! I can't stop watching him cope. Attention to this show. It, it bothers me a lot. Uh, I, I, I want to knock everything out. I want to keep this thing going. I fucking love doing this show, man. And, and when it's good, it's great. And I, I just want to see, you know, all, you know, just everything go well. I got to I want to see everything go well. Who wrote this? Ray DeVito? I want everyone to get along. I just want everyone to have money. I just want everyone to do dollars. I just want April to be a happy mom. Patrick, we have got your email bitching about not getting your VIP package. I'm sorry. I haven't felt like myself lately. Don't worry. I had Nick drive me to the post office in the snow like a real man. We hope you get that VIP package soon. Uh. Nick fucked me. I'm twitching. Fuck. <laughs> I can't stop shaking from Nick. Ladies in Brooklyn, don't feel alone. If you miss your period, just visit www.stevieloosewife.com. We will take care of you. All up in the hills. Stevie, if you're watching, don't go to that website. Even I have enough sense not to type that into the, to the web. There can be nothing good at that URL. I, I, I don't know if it's real or not. I don't want to know. John Doe has the upper hand. Do not look in the box. I do not read these before I play them. I did not mean to plug a URL that has anything bad, but for God's sake, let's do not go to that website. Do not go to that website. You know, it's when it's. Oh, oh, what's he about to do? This is getting deep. See. You know, all, you know, just everything go well. I got to, you know, it's when it's, how do I put this? When it's your wife, you can't really treat them like an employee. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Smoke weed every day. It's almost like. Everyone who's ever told you this wouldn't work was right. No shit. Holy shit if you don't see what this is. If you don't see this is the railroad spike that deepens the crevasse between their love. Holy shit. You know, it's almost like when, when you work with your wife, you can't just talk to her like an employee. You know, it's almost like when you pluck a factory worker off the factory floor, they're not good at radio. You know, it's almost like when you grab a, a simple, simple, dumb young woman from Litchfield, Minnesota. They don't have any references or any knowledge about life at all. You know, it's almost like... It's almost like someone made a huge mistake. Where, where am I? A, 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 you made a huge, it's a huge. I've made a huge mistake. 
you know, I don't want to say this, but uh, the 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 wife husband dynamic on a show it causes some some interesting different nuances and difficulties. No shit. No shit. It's almost like we all told you it'd be a disaster doing a show with your wife, and it would lead to a divorce. You know, I don't want to give the haters any credit here, but you can't. I can't really tell April to do her job. Otherwise, she gives me a look and will withhold sex. I, I've made a horrible error here. I've got a woman sitting next to me who does nothing. She adds nothing to conversations. She knows no knowledge at, about any subject, whether it's politics, entertainment, government, life. Economics, civil liberties, you know, so I'm constantly ranting about Trump or stakes. <laughs> she also can't do graphics, can't operate a website, can't do anything. She can't do anything. She's absolute garbage. Hold on, I'm getting a message. Um, fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, shit. Hold on. Hold on. I got a real problem. There we go. There we go. Fuck. Wow. Whoa, sorry. Whoa, 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 that'll be important later. Sorry, I rarely get information that knocks me off my dick. Is, is that real? Sorry, sorry. Um, DK, 10 gifted memberships. Jesus Christ. I didn't even see you sneak that one in, DK. That's after a 50 over on the super tip system. I love that we've coded this now. You can tell who's rich and who's not. You know, you get a voice chat now, you know the guy's got some power behind it. <sighs> First order of business to right this sinking ship is to fire the COO of Steel Blow. He's, yeah. <laughs> My second wife, April LaRue, has been focused too much on meth and other dongs while shirking her responsibility of mailing out awful stickers and iron on t-shirt uh. patches. That's why we are failing by by a uh, cups. Ricade, what'd she say? Meth and other dongs. My wife, April LaRue, has been focused too much on meth and other dongs. Thank you, DK. 20 gifted memberships. That's amazing. Uh, Terry Nee, Patrick, believe in yourself. You're capable. That's going to go a long way. Uh, RP, MLC legend, lame as fuck. Oh, me? RP doesn't like me? I'm going to have to side with malware on everything. Imagine if your name's malware. <laughs> like, if April was an employee, I might be... When it's... How do I put this? How do I put this without upsetting April? I. You're really right. You're really right, everybody. April has tanked this company. Now, again, again, it's, it's Aaron's fault. He got pussy whipped. He's so dumb. Okay, every radio team on the planet. You grew up with Opie and Anthony. You mimic him. Stuck into, you know, it's like Aaron's like a version of chat GPT that only had access to radio up until 2008. You know how they do that? They give like chat GPT like a version of the internet from 2014 to learn on. So it doesn't have any current events or anything. That's what Aaron is. They gave him old tapes of O&A. From 2005 to 2008 and said, here's what a radio guy sounds like. And Aaron, like, learned it and mimics it, and he never, ever, like, adapted with the time or anything. Ironically, neither did Anthony. If anything, he got more severe. 
But that's what it is. That that's exactly what's happening. So it's it just like a stunted, frozen in time radio man. When it's your wife. And that, and and all those all those shows told you. All those shows said don't do shows with your wife. The whole every October October thing they made fun of couples casts. Every one of them. Every one of them. And I, I told you the same thing. Last year, where's that Brian and Shayna show? Remember they were going to be a couples cast? Where's that? Where'd that go? It it doesn't work. By the way, it's not the couple's fault. Aaron and April may have had a healthy relationship at one point. Everything might have been fine. I, I don't know. I know this. Insecurity plus the dynamic of a live audience peering into your relationship. Long-form conversation. It's all coming out. You'll both try to play the audience against the other one. You'll both spill the beans when you get hurt. You'll both be passive aggressive. There shall be times where you're doing shows after a fight, during a fight, financial troubles. Again, this is the whole beginning of this show. His movie rocking in a fetal position, coping about his program that he has run into the ground. You hired a co-host with no experience and no talent. You named her general manager to try to make her feel good. Again, I think you had some keys to a building and you tried to use them to get pussy. You tried to use them to look cool. Nah, dude, we, it's our own pirate ship. We run it. You and me, we're going to run the radio and we'll run our own lives and nobody will have to go into work and this will be our new life. We don't even have to try. The money just comes in. Except when it starts to fall apart and suck. April really does nothing, and he's getting tired of it because Aaron's lax, too. Aaron's loosened up, too. Aaron doesn't do show prep. Aaron's let go. Aaron's enjoying eating. Aaron's enjoying farting. Aaron's enjoying shitting. Aaron's enjoying getting up. He puts his leg up on the table. He doesn't get dressed for the show. April shows up late. April shows up whenever she wants, leaves whenever she wants, snacks, breaks, energy drinks, go up and cook. Bring the kids down. We're going to start early. We're going to start late. April 6th. Just nonstop excuses and excuses and excuses. Passive aggressiveness, arguing. Money's down. That spirals into more and more troubles. It doesn't stop. Now you can't reprimand. Now you're not enough of a man to reprimand your wife for doing none of her job. So now you have to sit on it. And and, and the sad part is she might have skills he doesn't have. He's admitted she's better with video. She's better with OBS. Oh, holy shit. Boy, are you in trouble if she is the tech one. Boy, are you in trouble. So he doesn't even know how to correct her here. He's let her get so lazy and do nothing over so long of a period. He doesn't know how to rein her back in. April, you do need to create thumbnails better. April, you do need to write show descriptions. April, you do need to get, make sure our, our graphics and our show times are correct on social media. April, you do need to update Facebook and Twitter and stuff. You're, all your social media is dead. No one's around anymore. You added an employee and it killed the business. How's that work? How does that work? Oh, because you have two people siphoning off money and nobody contributing back to the pot. That's a fact. You can't really treat them like an employee. Mm -hmm. Like, if April was an employee, I might be a little tougher on her. I might go, get the fucking prize. Like, that shit's got to get done. But she's my wife, so I just say, want to watch Logan's run? And then we'll read the chat tomorrow. Mm -hmm. but it's your wife and you know what she's going through and you know she hasn't felt well and everything else she's like all right i'll give i'll give her a break and then you do feel like an asshole on the months months again what's her other job show up for three shows a week mail out prizes what else what else days where you go hey could you get that done today you know you've uh, yeah 
Yeah, it, I get you. It's a difficult position because at the one hand, you know, it's got to get done. It's what keeps everything on and going. And yeah, it's, yeah. Those eight people getting their hoodies, it's the only thing keeping Steel Toe afloat. The same rate. She's, you know, she's your wife. You can't just be like, hey, man, this is fun. Like, you understand she's a person. She's got things going on, so you can't yeah. be mad about it. You can't flip out about it. And the same rate, you can't... Uh, you can't have it happen. It's a yeah. real catch twenty two. I I, th I I gotta take care of my audience. It's whoa. Sorry, April. The audience is more important. It's always been number one. I. It's always been number one. You hear that, Ape? I gotta take care of my audience. It's always been number one. Mad about it. You can't flip out about it. And the same rate, you can't uh, you can't have it happen. It's a yeah. real catch-22. I, I, you know? I, I got to take care of my audience. It's always been number one. I have to take care of the people who pay the fucking bills. And that ain't ape. And the audience voluntarily pays the bills. So, you know. It's uh, it's one of those deals. Well, uh, so thank you guys very much to those of you who do support. The I mean, did did he or did he not just say the show and the audience is more important than April? I try to be nice to my wife, but the audience has always been number one, and I gotta take care of the people who. Again, imagine me ever being in that position, Patrick. What's more important, the show or your wife? Uh, I don't know you any kind of answer to that question. The show. But when you do a show with your wife, you you do have to talk about this stuff. Again, this is like when Opie and Anthony would bring the interns in and flog them, but he can't do that. And if this was another employee like Johnny or Corey, he'd, he'd be raking them all over the coals. But he just admitted, it's your wife, so I got to be careful how I say this. I... Mm. And again, what would, ever, what would happen if Mo Movie got poor and April started a business or found some success and was making tons of money? Would she show the same courtesy to him and keep him a kept man? Again, it was the whole misstep here was bringing April on board to this show. He can, he can never admit it, and that's fine. But the fact is, the only reason he's in this much trouble is because he's trying to sustain two people's incomes with whatever the fuck this show is now. Period. He, he might be able to sustain himself. He might be able to bring some food home, put it on the table, and contribute to the bottom line of that household with April also having a job. But the fact that both of them just sit in bed all night eating mac salad with, with mayo, farting and drinking and doing drugs and losing their mind over five milligrams of weed at a time and heading to the gas station for hash browns and, and horchata. I mean, it just like, it, it never fucking stops. And the show just spirals and spirals into a lazier and lazier and lazier version of itself. And then they wonder, like, why is it drying up? Oh, because the show's too good. Why is it drying up? Oh, because the economy's bad. Well, then why do other shows get money? Oh, because they're bad shows, and that's how bad shows have to show. Good shows don't really get to the show. Uh, Vince McMahon says the shows weren't bad, though. I know the shows from out there weren't bad. And they were awesome. They were great. They were some of our best shows. I don't get it. In fact, they were really good. Last night's shows, they were amazing. It doesn't make any sense. No, you guys got shit-faced and had fun. It wasn't a good show. I guarantee it. He's going to go, last time, last time was so fucking great. You don't remember it, you just said. You just said you got depressed, you made $50, got depressed, and got shit-faced. And now you're about to tell us how good it was and why we're wrong. Again, I wonder if this is it. You guys, the show was so good last night. Why didn't you give money? And says the shows weren't bad, though. I know the shows from out there weren't bad. In fact, they were really good. Last they were great. They were amazing. Last night's show was fucking awesome. It was awesome. 
I don't remember it. We got shit faced. Remember, he said we weren't making money, so we just got shit faced and said fuck it. But now it was an awesome show. It was really what a lazy, unaccountable bitch. What a lazy, unaccountable. Again, again, I thought this was honest day. I thought we were going to be honest. You, you literally just said you got shit faced, made fifty bucks, and decided to just forget it. Fucking get shit faced. Now it was an awesome show. Be funny. For some reason, people don't want to throw money at it when we're. Why don't you guys want to throw money at their show? For some reason, people don't want to throw money at our show. Again, is it ever about the show? I, I, I'm so excited about the printer, Grenter. I'm so excited about the Grant for the print. Monday, we're teasing that on the show. Not a money thing. I don't need any money. I mean, the grin for the print thing is a joke. You know, if you want to throw a couple bucks and go magenta, yellow, cyan, it's a joke. It's a joke. I got the money for printer ink. I got it. It's a joke. You don't, don't really think for one minute if you don't donate for yellow, we're not going to have yellow. These are jokes. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the P.O. Box. But we are going to give away a ticket to Hackamania, huh? I'm, I'm excited about these show things. I'm excited about Hackamania. I'm excited about, about uh, 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 the, the P.O. Box uh, stuff coming up. Excited about the, 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 the wall. These are show things. These are things we're going to be doing. None of them have to do with you giving me money. Every show, just the, the more. Sorry to start the show off like this. We do have a goal. Yesterday's show sucked. We didn't make money. We, do, we just got to make money. It's just everything revolves around the money. The shows are the money. The shows are the money. Listen. Fucking awesome. It was really funny. For some reason, people don't want to throw money at it when we're there. Just make the adjustment. Don't come and blame them all. Guys, I don't know what's wrong with you. We've been there for three days. Nobody gave money. We didn't make money. I'm depressed. We didn't get any money. Nobody wants to give money. So if you want to give money, throw some money today. Throw the money, but yeah, I don't know if we can go over there anymore because people just don't throw money. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Let it go, man. Let it go. Every fucking thing is through the lens of money. Every fucking thing about their show. Did we make money? How much money will it cost? We can't do shirts. They cost money. We can't mail out prizes. They cost money. They don't have money. They ran out of mailers. They don't have stamps. Stevie Lou, your campaign seems to have the momentum of a runaway freight train. Why are you so popular? I, too, am popular. Hey, Stevie, want to buy some views? Uh, RP, MLC legend, uh, $2. I'm both, LOL. That's not true. You are not RP and malware. Is that true? If it's true, I don't know why I'm getting $2 over here. Give me some of those uh, Nigerian shekels. What are they called? <laughs> what are they called? Kenyan shillings? RP, MLC legend, why didn't you step outside? John has hands. Why didn't you step outside? Look, uh, John has three days to apologize, five days to apologize. Keep the pressure on John. You you must apologize to Melton. Monday, it's going to be too late. You know, DK got lucky that I couldn't find ink. It's been a better part of an hour and a half uh, trying to track down ink. I was like, it doesn't make sense for me to spend 320 on ink to get 200 But that's just me. I try to run a profitable business, unlike some other toe-related shows. Uh, so I don't like being there doing shows. It just doesn't feel comfortable. It's very nice that they let us do it. I right. just don't feel comfortable, and I know the audience does They were there three days. Think of Arcada's wife. They were just in his house for three fucking days. It's cool that they let us do it, but I don't like it. I don't like it. So uh, audience numbers are down when we're there. Money numbers are down when we're there. Uh, I, like I said, I just want to knock out today. 
I want people to uh, contribute to the show and, and, and knock today out. Nothing's in, and I just... I, Nothing's in. <laughs> Everything's in. I don't want to be stressed all day and have a tough one. Uh, Matt Melt with 499 says, Did you see the bridge collapse in Baltimore? I did. Uh, Mussolini did. We're going to talk about it a little bit. Uh, Mussolini dip with five bucks says the supposed Joe Biden strategy of turning things around a bit before the elections to make life more comfy. I kind of don't think that's happening. No, you're right. That is true. Remember we had, we all had that theory that, oh man, the economy is going to get great and gas prices are going to go really low. We all had that theory. Remember we all had that theory. The year yeah, of the election the prices are going to drop. Life's going to get super good. Right. And we're like, oh, now oh, the, when, now when, the, when is that part of this going to happen? Now the Federal Reserve is saying, yeah, we probably won't do many rate cuts this year. You're like, oh, well, it's fa- oh, goody. fucking fantastic. Uh, Pork Ch- uh, Chopstock says, you're stressing us out, buds, with all this money stuff. I really feel like if you do the thing, we will give. That's not right. So here's like, uh, you know, God, I don't know how, but there still are some fucking mealworm fans over there with mushy sawdust brains who don't get it, who are going like, I don't understand, Aaron. Why don't you just do your show? And if it's a good show, people will give, which we all can't stop screaming. You know, of course. We're just do your show. Just do the show. The money will come or it won't. Again, the problem is you set this goal and early on, you were hitting it every day, so you thought that would just go on forever when that's not how the world works. And then again, you thought you were such a big swinging local hero dick that you could tell your girl to quit her job. It was a mistake. And until you admit that, I'm sorry, it's never going to get better. The only thing that improves this whole situation is if he tells her that she has to go back and get a job. She can do the night shows for fun. Are they going to hit that goal today? There? Yes. The only time I feel bad for, like, squatter. So they're 95 away, and it's 8 a.m. He should be gone right now. Are they going to beat it? We're watching live. But that's not, like, so many of these. They're at 95. Are they going to have to leave? It's like, I've been confronting this person and blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay, yeah. Uh, if someone came up to me continually telling me that I'm, uh, you know, staying in their house and I'm not supposed to be, I would officially start wondering about that that uh, that um, deed I signed over. Um. If someone kept coming up to me and telling me that I'm continually staying in their house and I'm not supposed to be. What? If someone kept coming up to me and telling me that I was staying in their house continually and I'm not supposed to be. Sam B thinks they're going to get a mysterious PayPal donation at the end. Is that true? It says $95 on the old ticker. It says $95 on the old ticker here. Before the marshals will. Look at him. Look at Aaron. He's watching the chat. Look at him. He's not even looking at the video. He's trying to see if he's going to get his money. Well, you saw those pictures. Where they had like a sandbox or some shit. I don't know if they were using that as a litter box or what, but they had a fucking sandbox there. Oh, this poor guy. Oh, hold on. They're saying today's goal was completed. He's trying to make up for last night's goal right now. Is that true? He was using it as a nonprofit, though, and that's not going to. Uh, Kevin says they stopped liking it because it sucks now and no one knew is coming over. So- oh, listen to this. Early letting them use your content for them to make content. Yeah. Whoa, what is going on? Is this cope? I didn't see this part. And it stopped being for them. Oh, God. This is What's bad. Going on? That's taking for fucking ever. Mm. Can't control it. Why bother? I really, uh, I mean, Katie, I want to. Very sweet of you, 100 bucks. She says, hope. Ooh. I know I have to get this shit out. Blah, 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 blah. It- blah, 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 blah. Offered too many times. Merch does that too. Blah, 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 blah. It's something she. Like, she feels that, you know, that's her contribution. Oh, no. I really, I thought we were going to be done with this. This seems like. Ray D says it's hard to support two people full time. It's stressful. 
Oh my God. Like he's really getting into it. It snowed in. I drove last night. It was fucking terrible. At any rate. Uh, Aaron, that's not your fault though. She needs to pull her weight. Thank you, Lance. She's fine. She- Quite a few people picking up stuff from our store this morning. I don't know what's going on, but just a reminder, you can head over to our store. I see the orders trickling in uh, this morning, so I don't know what people are buying. I haven't looked, but Hackamania gear, Rot Pockets. Rot Pockets. Gear, and of course, God, the most popular item we've had from the season, the Nannerpuss Warhol gear. Long sleeve stuff, hoodies, we got hats, puzzles, mugs, drinking vet, all kinds of stuff. Head on over, nobody likes onions.com slash store. Get yourself some today. You can call me Nannerpuss, Nannerpuss. She's great. She's wonderful. I just need some shit done. April, you're great. You're wonderful. I just need you to do a little work. This is unreal. Uh, Mussolini dip. We're going to talk about it a little bit. Uh, Mussolini dip with five bucks says the supposed Joe Biden strategy of turning things. Now, when, when is that part of the? <laughs> like, oh, well, it's... Here we are back where we were. Sorry. Okay. Fucking fantastic. Uh, Pork Ch- uh, Chopstock says you're stressing us out, buds, with all this money. Buds, with all this money stuff, I really feel like if you do the thing, we will give. That's not. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Look, a lot of shows try to do that. Melton just does a show, hoping the money comes in. It never does. Kevin does that. Chad tries to do it. Everyone tries to do that. They're not making money. The only way to make money is to make the whole show about money and just really create this stressful, nervous energy around it. Non-fucking-stop. These messages today cannot stop coming in. Early. Early. Um... Hold on, I'm sorry. I got to answer this. Sorry, if I told you guys what that text was, you'd have a field day, so I can't. (laughs) Maybe I'm not that good, Chops. Maybe I'm not that talented. Maybe. Whoa! Now, again, we know he doesn't believe this, but, again, any normal person would have these thoughts. These would go down on a sheet of paper for possible outcomes. (laughs) My show's not that good. That's possible. Hackford's Anonymous goes, Patrick, you're lost. It's like when Kevin... Thank you. Thank you, you fuck sticks. Hit the like button! Patrick, you're live. You're live. Fair enough. Fair enough. But when we just sit and do a show. What's good for the geese? No, it doesn't come in. Um, yep. So I'm sorry, buddy. I, I, I hate to do that. Look, I hate, I hate to tell you, bud. It doesn't work like that. You can't just do a show and hope it comes in. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Uh, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> money stuff i really feel like if you do the uh, thing we will give that's not it doesn't work that way I can't. maybe i'm not that good chops maybe uh, i'm not that talented maybe my uh, show's not that good that's possible uh, but when we just sit and do a show it doesn't come in oh uh, oh god i can't when we just sit and do a show it doesn't come in we have to yell and beg when we just sit and do a show um, so i'm sorry buddy i i, I hate <laughs> to do that I hate to reprimand you, bud, but it just don't work like that. But uh, it's been a fucking stressful week. <laughs> the, the, yeah, Jeru says it literally works for everyone else. There's no other show that does this. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure there is. Uh, when I say no other show, I don't, I don't know another show that, like, beats the fuck out of themselves and their audience every day to hit some arbitrary fucking goal. Again, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. How are we at 700 live viewers today? Hit the like button. And only 229 likes. 
I don't know. Are these fake? Is Shuli buying me views? Is this a punishment? Is Shuli buying me viewers? If you're real, you have to type something in the chat now. If you're real, type five in the chat. Type five. F-I-V-E. You have to write it out. To prove you're not a bot. To prove you're not a bot. Holy shit. You you just do a show and they come? You just do a show and they come watch it. You don't have to beg. You don't have to ask for money. <laughs> You're live. <laughs> I think it's mostly this weather and I'm, I'm so far behind. What? What? So hold on. He just goes. Somebody goes, if you just do a show, the money will come. And then he goes, it doesn't work that way, man. I don't know if it's that I'm not good enough. I don't have talent. I think it's the weather, though. I think it's probably the snow. It's either that I'm a completely talentless bitch or it's the snow. One or the other. One or the other. With all this money stuff, I really feel like if you do the thing, we will get it. It's <laughs> not, it doesn't work that way. Maybe I'm not that good, Chops. Maybe I'm not <laughs> that talented. Maybe my show's not that good. That's possible. It could but when be we the just snow. sit and do the show, it doesn't come in. Um, yep. So I'm sorry, buddy. I, I, I hate to do that. But uh, it's been a fucking stressful week. I, I think it's mostly this weather. And I, I'm so... Oh, the stress is the weather. Okay. I, I thought he was like, listeners can't find the show because the, show the visibility's so low outside. People are outside going, Steel Toe, where are you? They can't find the show. Far behind. We got snowed in. I drove last night. It was fucking terrible. Anybody else drive last night? <sighs> Guys, I'm just stressed, man. Things have been crazy here. I drove last night. <sighs> Hit the give button. Hit the give button. Hit the give button? Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, RP, that's impressive if you're malware and uh, that guy. That's funny. If you're both, that's very, very funny. Uh, pork Chops Talk. $5 for doing a show. Oh. How dare you? Uh, Bone and the Carbarian giving five memberships making it rain. <laughs> uh, along with Rhubarb Diff. That's fucking amazing. Look at it just coming. Look at it just coming in. I didn't even do anything. Rover 10 gifted memberships. <laughs> Can't get enough of the confetti gun popping today. And Rover, got, these people don't have to do this. We didn't beg. Nobody said we're going to do a hype train. Nobody put on music. Nobody did anything. Nobody asked for this. They're just happening. It's just happening. Five from a a a a a a a a a Ash oh, April. April looks like a really cool bird today. April LaRue, five. And Tiff giving 10 memberships. Notice me, senpai. Notice me. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Tiff. That's over 50 gifted memberships today. And, of course, that all goes towards the bottom line uh, that we didn't ask for. That we didn't ask for. So, you know, again, we'll be giving half the gold. Half of the uh, earnings from today's show will be going to... Uh, Mubi and Scrimp-related charity of your choice. To the tune of my way. And now the end is near. Steel Toe Show is finally ending, my friends. I'll, I'll say it clear. I beg for cash. That is certain. April runs out for snacks. She's traveled every roadway. I beg much more than this. I did it my way. Yes, there were times when I'm sure you knew when April was paying bills with men, she blew, but through it all, when I pulled out the plate, used a black puppet, and corny hate, I fucked it up. I lost it all. I did it my way. All right, let's see if we can try to do it with no audio to the tune of my way. And now the end is near. The steel toe is finally ending, my friends. I'll say it clear. I beg for cash, and that is certain. April runs out for snacks. She's traveled every... Oh, I got it. I got it all. I don't know why I try to do a singing. I can't, I can't do it without music.
It could would have been cool. It'd be cool if you can make the AIs sing. Like to a tune. When are they gonna come up with that, Moody? When can we get that? Ten dollars from Panhandler. Here's ten dollars. Enough with a grint, Aaron. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to grunt. Well, at any rate. I didn't mean to grunt. I did fuck it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucked it up. Should I leave? Or should you? Uh, Aaron, that's not your fault, though. She needs to pull her weight. Thank you, Lance. Right. Jesus, Lance. You get. You tell him. She's fine. She's great. She's... <laughs> She's fine. She's great. She's one of the best employees you can have that does nothing. She wakes up. She fluffs her hair. She gets the snacks. She goes out driving. She comes back. She does some blow, heads to the basement, and starts muff diving. Of last night, it was fucking terrible at any rate. Uh, Aaron, that's not your fault, though. She needs to pull her weight. Thank you, Lance. She's fine. She's great. <laughs> he doesn't even believe it. Look at his face. She's wonderful. She's, <laughs> she's fine. She's great. She's wonderful. That's how people talk about an old boat. Or wait, thank you, Lance. <laughs> she's fine. She's great. She's wonderful. She's got a few holes. She needs patching up. She needs some barnacles scraped off the bottom. I just need some shit done. I, she's <laughs> fine. She's great. She's wonderful. I just need some shit done. She's fine. She's great. She's wonderful. I just need some shit done. She's fine. She's great. She's wonderful. Oh, God. I just need some shit done. She don't do shit. <laughs> I just need something done. Anything. I do. I've, I've asked her before. I go, tell me what you need me to do. I will, f I, if you don't feel well, I will do it. But she wants to feel like she's contributing. She, she's like, no. I'm going to not do it. If anyone's going to not mail out the stuff, it's going to, it's going to be me. I will do it. And I'm like, and then I get to the point where I'm like, but I, I need it done on my time. <laughs> I love this. Everybody who ever wanted to know why you don't do a show with your wife, this, this. Why, Melton? Why can't it be this? This. He has to reprimand her on air to make it kind of funny because he can't say this to her face because she's his wife and she'd just be like, are you trying to boss me around? He's like, yeah, I'm your boss. AWOL says five bucks for the Steel Toe fan club account. Are we starting a fan club? Like right. it, it helps me a lot if that's done on my time because I'm the one who takes the, the complaint messages from the audience. Yeah, but when they complained last week, you, you guys just blew them off and laughed. And, and I can't lose pe I can't lose any more people, basically, uh, is, is what it's down. I can't lose any more people people this light will guide me home i thought you guys were growing i thought you had twice the audience of melton i thought you were killing it i thought you had fifty thousand fans who watch the show every every month unique fans did he just say i can't lose any more people down to uh, let's go ahead. I can't lose any more people is what it comes down to. Again, look at their show. 75 thumbs ups, 257 watching. I can't lose any more people. So every once in a while, he says the truth. Every once in a while, out loud. Again, he walks around the house all day long, all week long, all month long, telling April, we're up, we're up, more viewers than ever. This is amazing. More, We're up. He just said, I can't lose any more people is the bottom line. Or people, basically. Ooh. The audience. A lot if that's done on my time because I'm the one who takes the, the complaint messages from the audience. And, and I can't lose pe I can't lose any more people, basically, uh, is, is what it's down to. 
I can't lose any more of the audience. I mean, does it sound like a guy who's killing it, smashing it, shows bigger than ever, keeps growing, twice the size of Melton? Uh, let's go ahead and talk to the audience here so I can get out of this funk and we can do a great show. Everybody go to PayPal, Streamlabs, everything else. Throw us money. If it's pity, it's pity. I don't. Guys, why don't you give us money so we can get out of this funk? Don't give a fuck. Just if it's pity, it's pity. I don't give a fuck. We know. We know. You've been there for a while. You've been shamelessly begging for pity for a while. I mean, this, there's not a new gear to switch to, Aaron. Aaron acts like he's like, you know what? I don't, I'm going to just, we're going to go into emergency mode. It's pity. Why don't you just give me, it's like, you've been there, bitch. You've been there. Throw us money so we can keep this machine oiled. Uh, Annoyed Wawa supervisor says, Jesus, you're making me feel like a human being. Before I get into supervising, I worked in prize patrolling. Do you need me to step in and get you guys a process? It's, it's not a, it doesn't need to be a process. I've got shit that I need to do that. I mean, this is the whole problem with everything on your show. It does need to be a process. Before you do a giveaway, you need to look up what the laws are and what the requirements are, what hoops you need to jump through. YouTube requires you to have the rules and regulations for the, pro for the, for the contest listed out. So start with that. Then follow your state and local regulations. Then maybe have a form or some sort of secure website. I know that's tough since you don't have a website at all anymore. Can't afford it. Where people could register for their prizes and securely provide you with their address, contact information, anything else you might need to send out the prize. And maybe a way for them to track the, the prize or see what the status of their delivery is or anything like that. So April can keep track of when something was sent or has it been sent or are we almost out of mail, you know, inventory and stuff like that. No, 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 no. They don't have any of those processes. And matter of fact, Aaron says they don't need them. Guys, we don't need any kind of process. These things will just handle themselves. That's why they're stagnated at this point. No one needs a process. I'm shocked Aaron hasn't had to start selling tickets to this uh, Steel Toe 10th anniversary party in August. Where would they even sell them? They're just going to have to send people to an Eventbrite page. <laughs> this stops now. Post haste. Yank is hey, 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 KT. How did it pronounce ha ha nakas? How did it get an almost racial slur out of ha, ha, ha? This stops now. Post haste. Nyakas. Hey, hey. Hey, KT. Nyakas. Get off my back, Melton. Not only do I do a five-star show, but I also have full custody of my three children. I cook, clean, and bathe them. And at night, I tuck them in, and the kids give me the goal for tomorrow's show. So leave me alone. He's got his kids like handing him his uh their uh tooth fairy money, you know. Daddy, here's forty five cents to help with the goal. Aw, oh, son, you keep that. You keep that. We have enough for hash browns tomorrow. We have enough for hash browns tomorrow. And I'm fucking behind on. And I gotta get my fucking shit together. Uh, -oh. uh Ray D says it's what hard was to that? what was process. that process. I've got I love when they're like, we don't need a process. Everything runs fine around here. Supervising, I worked in prize patrolling. Do you need me to step in and get you guys a process? It's, it's not a, it doesn't need to be a process. Yeah, we don't need a process. Sure, things aren't getting done. Sure, we're not putting anything into the show. Sure, we don't plan. All of our numbers are down. Things are slipping through the cracks. We don't need a process. I've got shit that I need to do that I'm fucking behind on. Sounds like you need a process. And I got to get my fucking shit together. Sounds like you need a process. Uh, Ray D says it's hard to support two people full time. It's stressful. But yeah, it is. But you know what? I was so happy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Listen to this. When we were able to uh, fucking take April from that goddamn job that was tearing up her body and making her feel like shit.
I was so happy when we were able to take April from that job. The guilt. Again, this is this is the death of this show. This was the singular mistake that will be the downfall of Aaron M. Holt and April M. Holt. Their marriage and this show. Mark my words. This show might have afforded her a chance to find another job, switch careers, go back to school. Any of those things would have been good options. Plucking her out of a factory and sitting her down in a seat to do comedy was not a good choice. And if they, again, if they only had one income to to support here, I think they could do it. This is 100% the problem. They brought April in, and that's the death of both the relationship and the show. Yes. And he doesn't want to send her back. I, I, You know, again, he'd have to swallow his pride to do that. She'd have to swallow her pride to go back. I've got shit that I need to do that I'm fucking behind on. And I got to get my fucking shit together. Uh, Ray D says it's hard to support two people full time. It's stressful. But yeah, it is. But you know what? I was so happy when we were able to uh, fucking take April from that goddamn job that was tearing up her body and making her feel like shit. It felt really good when we took her away from that. And as we took her away, he sees himself as a bit of a savior. He rescued her. This all plays into his entire complex of being like an alpha male. His advertisers dropped and things got a little tighter. We- oh, no. As advertisers dropped and things got a little tighter. Again, how much are we supposed to believe Stoney's is handing over to Steel Toe every month? But again, if it's any dollars... This guy's an idiot. It should be nothing but free drinks for Aaron and a couple coupons that'll never get redeemed. That should be the sponsorship. How much are they paying for this logo down in the corner every goddamn day? Anybody? Anybody? We've still been able to keep that going. I want to keep it that way. That's all. I just want to keep it that way. I just want to keep things how they are. I just want things to never change. You're making her feel like shit. It felt really good when we took her away from that. And as advertisers dropped and things got a little tighter, we've still been able to keep that going. I want to keep it that way. That's all. I just want to keep it that way. Why? Things change, Mark. Uh, Redbird says, then all you have, your. uh, then you have all your so-called fans insulting you day after day. You mean hobo? That's, guys, don't. That's love. Guys, these are all real fans. Nobody hates us. You don't get the show. Nobody's insulting us in the chat. This is all jokes. That's why we ban people non-stop all day, every show. Guys, anyone you see in our chat putting us down, these are jokes. That's, he's awesome. I love Hobo Chili. Jokes are jokes, man. You're going to be eating Hobo Chili soon. I I hope you make really good friends with that gas station attendant. You're going to need to build a fire next to it to live. We all make fun of each other here. It's good. Somebody says you can also thank your favorite president for lower donations. No, no, that's not. No. Maybe, but. Uh, poor- no, 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 maybe. Sound like a guy who knows what he's talking about? Donation. No, no, that's not. Maybe. <laughs> no, no, that's not. No, maybe. But uh, poor- I don't really blame uh, any specific president. I mean, the economy currently, but no, I don't know. Uh, Chop says, why can't you do the mail, Aaron? Honest question. I would. I absolutely would. I've offered too many times. She says she'll do it and then doesn't do it. So, you know, that's what we're running with over here. I've offered too many times. It's something she, like, she feels that, you know, that's her contribution. So she wants to do it. It's her. So, hold on. We're paying a woman's full-time salary and her contribution is mailing out sweatshirts, which she doesn't even do. She hasn't done it in months, and we're paying her salary? That's her contribution. 
She feels like that's her contribution. Hold on, but we're out of mailers and nothing's been sent out in a month. Sorry, two months. I know, but she feels like that's her contribution. We're paying her salary so she can do nothing. Think about that. You're paying a woman's full-time salary. And she hasn't done the thing she considers her contribution to the show. Okay. Okay, if you say so. Beep, beep, beep. Breaking news, breaking news. Oh, no. Stevie, lose wife, just participated in an airtight gang bang with six nunchuckers. Maybe she should go to W, W, W. .stevieloosewife.com for aftercare needs. Remember, ladies, we're here to help you. Patrick, I can't afford to lose any more listeners. That's why I keep that scrimping roofing cunt busy. Got her up there now dragging her tar pouch, securing loose shingles. Then she will start loading them fart bags for the kids' party with her cunt dungeon. I'm having a rocky time. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, David in the chat says, April's uh, the real winner here when you think about it. Right. Again, like, she's the only one earning a salary and not even doing the thing she, the meager little one task she has to do, aside from sit and be unfunny every day, she she hasn't done in months, but we're paying a salary to the woman. Her thing, I just, you know, again, I just... Need, need you to get out of bed and do something, bitch. It to be done. Uh, Tin Man Taylor says the past couple shows have been great. April's good mood really shows. Don't blame the lack of donations on yourself. A lot of people have had to pay in on taxes this year, and everyone is struggling. No, it's more of a it's a pattern when we do the shows from there. It just doesn't work as well. Yeah, it's the Ricada's fault. Steel Toe usually kills it, so it's got to be the Ricada's. Uh. It's probably their better camera, better mics, better studio. People just, they get disoriented. They're like, I'm used to shitty when it comes to steel toe. This feels off. <laughs> Freedom's Lunch says complaining about your wife in public is not going to Shut the fuck up. No. What? That's not what I'm doing. I'm talking. That's not what I'm doing. I'm shitting on an employee. Talking about. <laughs> st- she knows we've all, we've talked about. Listen to this panic. <laughs> No, that's not she. she no, we. Oof. Uh, Freedom's lunch says complaining about your wife in public is not going. Shut the fuck up! No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm talking about. St- she knows. <laughs> we've all we've talked about it on the air before. She's like, I know, I have to get this shit out. Blah. Yeah, two weeks ago. Then what happened? You guys went away for three days. Blah 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 blah. blah. It's fine. Jesus Christ. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Shit out, blah, 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 blah. We've talked about it on the air before. She's like, I know I have to get this shit out, blah, 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 blah. We've talked about it on the air before. She's like, I know I have to get this shit out, blah, 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 blah. It's fine. On the air before. She's like, I know I have to get this shit out, blah, 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 blah. It's fine. She says, they do this all the time. It's fine. It's fine. I've just opened the show up complaining about her. It's fine. April's fine. She's good. She's wonderful. Jesus Christ. Uh, Chops with five bucks says pity bucks. Thank you very much. Uh, Ch- Cheetos from Stony says, uh, don't mean to put more stress on you, but I'm renewing my sponsorship with you. That's great. You know, that is funny. Um, it's not funny. Cheetos is dumb. We've all seen the photo. He's a big, he looks like Jelly Roll without the cool. (laughs) Cheetos is a big fat biker bouncer. Again, I'm renewing my sponsorship. No one watches the show. You're a local bar in what? Rockville, Minnesota. What? No one's swinging through. No one. I have a a nine-hour layover. I guess I'll drive two hours out to Rockville and use this $10 gift certificate I got three years ago. 
Cheetos, if he wanted to, could pull the plug on this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like Cheetos could put us in the red. So now we're supposed to believe that Cheetos gives Aaron so much money that if Cheetos pulled his sponsorship, the show would not be profitable. And again, I don't know what to think here. Is Cheetos somehow giving them five grand a month? Is he an idiot? Or am I crazy and it's 500 bucks? In which case, he's still an idiot. It's it, This sponsorship is not worth $500 a month on this program. It's not. They're so close to losing money. And just like be, be done. So that's, right. um, I, 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 I don't know. I feel like I would fuck with me more if I were him. Yeah, because he has a lot more control than he realizes. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have told him that. Maybe he doesn't know. Yeah, you just you let the cat out of the bag. Now the joke's over. Yeah. Uh, My oh, job is constantly going to be in flux now. Thank you very much, Katie. Very sweet of you. A hundred bucks. She says, hopefully this makes it a little better today. Look, man, we knock it out. It does. Thank you. Look, it does. And thank you very much. And if we knock out today, I am going to feel a lot better. Oh. Oh, well, that's all it takes. By the way, guys, if, it's, if someone gives $1,000 today, I'll feel a lot better. Yeah, no shit. Hey, did you guys know if Aaron reaches the goal today, he'll feel better? That's why I bring it up. It's just... Maybe if April felt better, she could mail out... The <sighs> I'm just... You know, some days you just feel it. And and by the way, I don't care. Like, we've got people who hate this show who are going to clip anything I say. I don't I care. Don't live I don't to care. Be like, oh, watch what you say because someone might clip it. It doesn't matter if I say this or something else. It's going to get clipped. People are going to go, oh, he's a piece of shit. Oh. Right. Because yesterday you were making a video where you're going, sorry that you don't think Steel Toe rules. Sorry that you think Steel Toe's not growing. Sorry that you think Steel Toe's not killing it right now. Sorry that you think we don't have way more listeners and viewers than you. That's you every other day. So you're goddamn right we're going to clip it when you're literally swirling around in a toilet complaining about your wife being lazy. You're literally sitting here telling us the reason your show is dying is because of your wife, which you mistakenly hired because you weren't thinking. So, yeah, we're going to clip it. We're oh, gonna queers clip are it. still over here queering off. I wouldn't know I've been touching ass. I mean, grass touching grass. I said slick grass, not Nick's ass. Who said Nick? Yeah, oh, boogers. Uh, Ricky Bev, member for four months, he keeps saying he has stuff to do. Like what? Like what? Yeah, it's like Chad. He's got a bank appointment we don't know about. Charlotte the retard M. Holt. This is his oldest daughter. 99 cent super sticker. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. By the way, where is KB? You know, I noticed that I, I got met, uh, emailed me the other day. God's still around. But now KB's gone. Now KB's gone missing. I don't even know. Oh, he sucks. Oh, he's terrible. Oh, he's getting done. Oh, it's falling apart. Yeah, it's all falling apart. I to be like, oh, watch what you say because someone might clip it. It doesn't matter if I say this or something else. It's going to get clipped. People are going to go, oh, he's a piece of shit. Oh, he sucks. Oh, he's terrible. Oh, he's getting divorced. Oh, it's falling apart. Yeah, it's all falling apart. I mean, these are what this is what you just said for the past 20 minutes. So my, my whole thing is, if I, I'll just be honest on my show. People will rip apart whatever I say anyway. I Again... Guys, I'm just going to be honest. You just got done telling us you're killing everybody and you support three shows. Melton makes all his, his whole entire show living off of us. Chad Zumach, all the Dabbleverse. They owe us money big time. Remember? Remember? You carry all the show. You can't carry yourself. You can't carry yourself. Are you done diluting? I, yeah, I, I don't live for that. I, it doesn't bother me. I, I just don't live for that shit. The huh. second part's going to happen. You can't control it. Why bother? Just yeah. go for it.
Uh, Great Planet says, what about bigger ad reads? I, I talked to Benny the other day. What about bigger ad reads? Listen to this. Listen to this. Yeah, Aaron, you ever thought about getting bigger sponsors? Maybe Epson, Bud Light, Kyocera, <laughs> the Olympics. Maybe the maybe you could be the official podcast of the Vikings. It's a good idea. Why don't you guys just get bigger sponsors? K Soft. Yeah, we tried that, but then they looked at our numbers and they said nobody really listens to you guys, so we're not interested. So it's a weird catch-22, you know, you got to have fans and, like, listeners to get sponsors, but you got to have, like, sponsors to get listeners. What? What? Hey, um, Benny has been wanting to get back on, and I'm like, uh, dude, how about we fucking do this thing? Uh, we got, obviously, uh, Johnny and I know about the other thing that we got going on. That's taking for fucking ever. Mm-hmm. This is the return to terrestrial? Oh, it's just a nightmare. It's just, it's it's, it's all great. It's all good things. It's, yeah, it's going to be amazing. Steel Joe's going to be back on top again. It's just going to, it's going to, you know. Just fucking nightmare dealing with them. That's all it is. I'm being a bit of a spoiled brat, too, because all of it is just, regular shit that everyone deals with that you need to get done like driving in the snow a minute ago that was a big excuse (laughs) guys last night i had to drive in the snow it's taking longer than i want it to take and i'm being a bit of a bitch is what it is chop says can you give an olive branch to these clippers chops i know you're in tight with like lemmy and all that shit you got to understand these people out of nowhere just fucking get too deep into the internet and they start going nuts, buddy. I, I, I understand. I get it. But this is not a 50-50 thing. This is not an Aaron did something, so these people are pissed. This is these people stopped liking the product we offer, which is fine. It, ha- it happens? It happens all the time. People stop liking this show all the time. Wow. These people stopped liking the product we offer, which is fine. It happens all the time. (laughs) The product we offer. I can't. These people stopped liking the product we offer, which is fine. It happens all the time. We gain new ones. We lose old ones. What? Where are the gains? Where are the gains? And don't point to Riley. And it stopped being for them, but they get pissed about it. How does it work? They stop watching the show because they stop liking the product we put out. And then they get pissed about it and clip the show. How can they get pissed about something they don't watch? How can they clip something they don't watch? And again, now we're now he wants you to believe that everyone who clips and makes fun of Steel Toe is a a spurned listener that stopped liking the show and now they clip the show to hate the show. Okay? Like Lemmy got mad about the fucking bikini. April wanted to wear a fucking bikini on stream. Yeah, but you both have railed against women doing that, saying it's cheap and unclassy for years. Like, why don't you understand that part? You, for years, you said that was cheap, unclassy, short money. You hate those whores that do that over on Twitch. That's why. That's why. Again, we don't think it's weird to be in a bikini. We don't care. It's funny when you guys scream about how that's gay and cheating and and they're whores and it's not classy and it's not a good look for your stream. And then you just start doing it. If that drives you nuts. It doesn't. It doesn't. Again, it's the hypocrisy. It's not the ghoulish white bear skin. And you have to go. There is no problem with that. But don't act like it's my, like it's something, like I uh, R-worded you. Don't act like, you, you know, like, like you're a fucking victim. You're not. 
you don't like what I do anymore. My I, eyes were victimized by that bikini. Right. I mean, it's fucking insanity the way some people behave. And again, if all these people don't like your show and left, why are you still talking to them? If all these people are gone, why are you still talking to them? Why are you still fighting everybody if they left and don't like your show? Who are you talking to? So like an olive branch to Clippers? No, I want them to be able to do whatever they do. I've always said, I get to do my show the way I want. They get to clip the way they want. So yeah. What more of an olive branch do you... What happened to Citizen M then? What was that warning to MSO about? MSO said he watched a clip, and then you said, warning MSO, no more of that. Remember? Mama member? You need. Like, right. You're literally letting them use your content for them to make content. Yeah, right? so, I, I mean, people who get too involved in the internet are like, you should involve, what about an olive branch to Clipper? First of all, I'm not involved with Clippers. I have nothing to do with that. I don't, they don't exist in my life. They're on the internet somewhere. An olive bury branch. Bury the hatchet, guys. There's no hatchet to bury. I have no animosity towards them. Can we run that back, Citizen M? This guy's got to fucking stop right now. Post haste. I'm putting a stop to that. He's banned. He's not having fun. There's no animosity. You sure about that? You sure about that? What's happened? So it's, you know, I'm sorry. I know they want me to. I know that's like they're. I know you guys want me to be angry and like ban you, but that's not going to happen unless you're not a mod. Big thing. <laughs> and that's where their failure comes from. But. Oh, your failure comes from clipping. I mean, do you hear this fucking idiot? We get, we can spend all day with this jack hole. We, and we do. And we do. Hit the like button. But I would be remiss if I didn't play a little bit of Ray DeVito, Stevie Lou and the Quad Father for you here today. Now, look. I've got a take. Missing teeth like... I've got a take. Watch the beginning of this when uh, Stevie comes on. This Ray show from a few nights back. Was this Monday night? Sunday night? Work. You cannot leave someone when you fucked them up. You gotta hang out there. It's maybe. You fuck someone up. Yeah. Leave. Isn't it? The wreck thing, whatever. Degenerates. I don't know. Buddy, how can I bring you guys together? Who? You and Quadfather. Me. So this is Sunday night. This is before our show yesterday with Stevie. In Squidworth. Stop it. You're friends. Word. Squidward. You don't even watch SpongeBob no. enough to know the name correctly. Yeah, there you no, go. I'll I'm help sorry. you out. You're right. You're Squidworthless. I'm sorry. I should have. You worked that it out. out. You worked it it's funny how it's brainless and legless. This feels fake. I'm just going to call it like I see it. Stevie Lou is grinning. He's almost giggling. I don't know what's what. I would. Everyone thinks I'm doing a work. And it's kind of cluing me in that maybe Lemmy and Quadfather and Stevie Lou are doing a work. This is the second, if this is true, this is the second time Stevie Lou's done a work to me that I don't understand and doesn't make sense. There's no, there, this in no way shall help Stevie Lou. So it feels like Quadfather and Stevie Lou are just being silly and faking a fight online. It, it felt that way a little bit on... MLC, and then Stevie Lou said that Quadfather messaged him like, sorry, dude, I was just hamming it up for the ding. And then cut to this one where they're going to pretend to, 
Now, look, Quadfather is about to unload on Stevie Lou's wife. So I don't know, again, what's real and what's not. But look at Stevie Lou's grinning face. And also, like, they do kind of, like, hang out and read Super Chat. It's like, this just feels fake and dumb. In the PM. Uh, you guys are doing a great job, though. Uh, but, yeah. Look at Stevie Lou. I mean, this feels calm and... Really funny how this guy, I predicted it. He had his little thing. Did you not hear the IRS part? And Yeah, we're playing it right now, stupid. Now I asked uh, KB last on, night. You uh, were there. You might have heard him say, yeah, day, you should absolutely. Absolutely, you should go after me. him. And I was like, yeah, let's go that route. You're right. So I predicted it. Kevin Brennan's go- correct. You didn't All predict right. shit. Kevin right, Brennan said right, I should, but I did. He was going to go on every Steve show. Steve Lewis could be a little cunt bitch, and that's all he came right, on hey, here hey, to hey, do hey, is. All right, hang on. Quad, I'm going to mute you just. <laughs> Ray, and I mean this in the sweetest way, your instincts are dog shit. Shut up. Anytime two people start getting into it on Ray's show, like he's like, all right, all right, guys, okay, you stop it. Okay, guys, calm down. I'm going to take one of you off. Of the- Ray, shut up and let them fight. God, you suck. You suck. You have the worst instincts ever. Ray, shut up. Something good is happening. Something interesting is happening for once on your show. Shut up. You know, Ray just, again, ah, co- guys, ah, come on. Guys, all right, all right, guys, come on with that. All right, all right. Shut up. <laughs> Hello? Hey, babe, rerun. Um, as far as the, it being a work, Stevie Lou is one of those jag-offs that laughs at everything he fucking says. It's just like those guys who call in and go, fat, <laughs> and hang right. up. Bye. <laughs> Wait, are you calling me fat? Again, look at this freeze frame of CB Lou. Fuck am I supposed to do with this? Let, let, I'm gonna let him. Uh, I'm gonna let him. Your uh, wife's a, a cut sack, hook nose whore. Fuck that bitch. Uh, she's gonna get fucked by ten fucking. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. Better dudes than you tonight. Enjoy. What else you got? What else you got? Nice house coat you got there, fucking fruity ass bitch. All right. All right let, let him talk. House coat. You look like a fruity ass bitch in your house coat. Did you not hear me? Did I? St- all right. I, I'm, I'm quite, I don't. Like- all right. All right. All right, guys. All right. Like people talking over each other. Like just everyone be cool. He has a problem with that where he can't. No, it's know. fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stevie, he has a problem talking over people. You can't walk. No, you can't I, I'm very good at it, actually. Oh. Yeah. Hey, so, Quad, let's get into this really quick. Um, yeah, what on... misinformation okay. do you want to spread? Oh, did you text me last night, you lying piece of shit? You said you did. You lied. There's the first lie. Let you want to start Ray, with that when one? I could, when I could talk, let me know when that can happen. Yeah, when uh, you want to stop lying, talk. Okay. Hey, Quad, you're on federal disability right now, right? Yep. Okay. If you receive any sort of earnings personally, it would reduce your disability. That's why it's all right. about so right, everybody. Right now, what you're doing is you're screwing hard paying American taxpayers like me. You're a scumbag who literally sucks the life out of actual people. I'm trying working to bring you together. All right. By- like, what would make Ray talk right now? Just flashing back. Mommy and daddy are fighting and Ray's in his bedroom. Ah, uh, guys. Ah, uh, okay. I, I'm trying to bring you together. I'm trying to make you guys get along. Ah, uh, I can do a magic trick, guys. Watch me. Ray, shut up. Shut up. This instinct you have to, like, butt in and smooth it over sucks. Shut up. What a fucking idiot. All right, all right, guys. All right. Guys, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring you together. So what Stevie Lou's doing here 
is trying to say quad fathers on social security income from his disability, disability insurance, uh, not SSI, I guess, disability insurance, social security disability, whatever. And if he earns money, they'll cut his disability insurance because he's earning money. The, the disability insurance is for people who can't earn money. So this is akin to, again, Bob Levy threatening to throw people in, uh, turn people into the IRS for tax shit. Kevin Brennan threatening to turn people in for tax shit. Chad Zumok threatening to turn people in for tax shit. When the fact of the matter is, none of them know how it works at all. Stevie Lou has a loose understanding of this idea. You know, you're allowed to earn a certain amount, I imagine. And I imagine you're allowed to earn a certain amount. Different people are allowed to earn different amounts. And the effect that that has on your other on your uh, disability income is different for different people. And again, Stevie Lou knows none of the details about this. He doesn't know how much the quadfather earns. He doesn't know how much the quadfather is allowed to earn before it affects his disability. He doesn't know any of this shit. But that doesn't matter. All you need to know is Stevie Lou thinks he knows something. This is the same as yesterday when Stevie Lou called up to try to get me. This is the same exact thing. He, he called up yesterday. Stevie Lou was going to get me. You shared with me a time when your wife was terrorized by a fan. Thought he, again, had it all wrong. This fan never contacted my wife. My wife is completely, completely unaware of this fan. He has the story completely wrong. Nobody terrorized my wife. Nobody. But it doesn't matter what he actually knew or what he had. It's what he thought he knew and what he thought he had. Same way as with, with this. And with Kevin, with the IRS. Like, I bet, I bet the IRS would be interested to know about the MLC merch shirts that you sold and you probably didn't play, pay, I probably didn't claim that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Kevin's dumb. Kevin doesn't understand that credit cards are processed to a merchant account. Merchant's account get reported to the IRS through 1099, just like every other every other 1099, whether it's YouTube or Twitch or any of it. But again, it doesn't really matter what they know or what ammo they have. It's it's the person showing you who they are when it matters. Kevin Brennan and Bob Levy get nasty when you fuck with them. Fast. Children, wives, personal friends, homes, income, all of it. Nasty. Immediately. Now, luckily, Kevin Brennan's a fucking idiot, and it becomes a laugh factory when he starts threatening to turn people into the IRS. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't understand that, of course, it all gets claimed. But it shows you who Kevin Brennan is. He, he's going to be dirty. He's going to lash out. He's going to play nasty. Stevie Lou thought he knew something about my wife yesterday, and he was going to come in and, and air it out and play nasty. Now, again, he fell flat on his fucking ghoulish face and looks like a retard because Stevie Lou is a retard. The same, the same ADHD sentimentality that doesn't let him listen on the phone or in person causes him to spout over everyone nonstop, just getting it wrong, wrong, wrong all the time. It's probably the same fucking deficit he has when it comes to listening and processing information outside a podcast. That's why he didn't know what the fuck he was talking about when he tried to call in and get my wife. But now here he is trying to t tell a handicapped man or imply that he's going to get a handicapped man in trouble for double dipping and earning income that he's not reporting to the government. And again, none of these people know anything. Stevie Lou doesn't know jack shit. Maybe Quadfather is hiding income. And maybe Quadfather mentioned that to Stevie in passing. That's fine. That's fine. It takes a real piece of shit to then bring it up and try to get a guy. Again, 
Nothing shall come of this, TV. Just like when your daddy, Kevin Brennan, screamed at me about going to get me for taxes and the shirts and da da da. Wouldn't it be interesting in the IRS? Nope. Nope. It wouldn't. All you motherfuckers with rubber bullets can't stop shooting your gun. And let me tell you something. You look dumb. You look dumb. So, Stevie, all I see is you running from podcast to podcast trying to shoot people with your limp dick. I'm going to get Quadfather in trouble for the IRS. No, you're not. No, you're not. Nothing will come of this. You don't know what you're talking about. Again, I have no idea if he's breaking the law or not. What I do know is the IRS ain't listening and you're not going to do shit to get him in trouble. What are you doing? This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing for you. Every show you go and you're running around trying to get people, acting like you have a bomb. You don't. You don't. You have a Cadbury egg and it's smashed in your pocket. And then you go to get it out and throw it at people and it's like, ah, fuck, I didn't know. I thought this was a bomb. It ain't. It ain't. You're a goo dude. You're a goo dude. You're covered in goo. Everything you try to lob at anybody else explodes in your hand. You're an idiot. You don't know jack shit about anything. Actually, Kevin, people can't use a photo of you without your permission. That's a fact. Wrong. Quadfather, I bet it'd be interesting to find... It wouldn't. Shut up. You're dumb. You're dumb. You look stupid, A, for threatening a friend. Number two, you look stupid because you don't know what you're talking about. You're dumb. You're too dumb. You're too dumb to do this. You can't threaten people. Stop it. Stop it. You, you, you're, you're like the worst fucking uh, praiser at Antiques Roadshow. So show me what you got here. Interesting, interesting. I don't know what this is worth, and I don't know what it's for. Great, great, Stevie. Let's move on to the next booth. What's this? Where's it from? What's it date back to, and how much can we get for it? I don't know again. I'm Stevie Lou. Thanks for watching. Stevie, you're dumb. You don't know fool's gold from fucking gold. You don't know a buffalo chip from a blue chip. Shut up. Stop going on trying to get people. Siri just told me that was not nice. <laughs> Siri literally just goes, that's not nice. <laughs> I don't need Shut up. So, I mean, we're just done with this fucking clown. I'm done with this clown. And by the way, if, if Quadfather and Lemmy are in on this, and this is something like, ah, no, this is how we're going to make BYB big. Ew! Ew! What's going on? Are you that bored? We, we don't need works. There's enough real shit. I'm not doing works. The fact that I keep lump, being lumped in with this is insane. I'm not doing works. I'm not in on it. And let me tell you again, Stevie Lou's a giant piece of shit. He's a piece of human shit. I've seen enough. Fucking idiot. Don't tell him anything. Don't trust him with anything. Again, thank God he doesn't have anything and thinks he did and showed everybody who he was. I actually have a little thing about your wife. You don't, dummy. You don't. I actually know a little thing about the quadfather and his... You don't! You don't! You're too dumb to know you don't! You're too dumb to know you have nothing! Jesus Christ! Stop walking around like you got a big old dick and a secret! You don't! You don't! Have a secret. <laughs> I'm gonna bitch slap that Stevie Lou so hard it's gonna knock the ugly right off his face! <gasps> I, too, would like the ugly knocked off my face. Hello. Hello. Yeah, quad father here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just uh, just so you know, we're not doing work. Like, that. that's pretty much why Stevie Lou and BYB do not work together anymore is because of the, the Cape Meany fiasco where he was trying to do a work and we had no idea what the fuck he was doing. So and, did you uh, text him the other night, sorry, dude, I was hamming it up for the show? No, and on Rock Bottom Podcast, I showed my text 
because I didn't. Even, I wasn't even aware of that until the super chat started saying it, and it was like, "What?" So just, just for people who, for people who don't know, you you were both on MLC the other night, Saturday night, and Stevie Lou was Correct. on, and you guys yelled at each other. You left the show, and then Stevie Lou said he got a text from you saying, "I'm just fucking around, buddy, making it good for the show." Exactly. And you're saying that and did then, not happen. That was not a text. Oh, one million percent. I can show my DMs or whatever. He's actually got me blocked. So my last three messages with him are green. Uh, and all the ones before that are blue because we both have iPhones. So the second he blocked me, they all turned green. And the last couple of messages I sent him, honestly, were, hey, I'm sorry about your arm. I hope you heal up quick. They were like nice messages. Because I knew he, I, I thought it's hot. He had blocked me. And that was the case. But even even with that said, I was still trying to you know like reach out and be nice about him getting his little wing busted. So I don't. I so he tries to like. Now look, you you scramble a lot here. You sound guilty because you just deny it too much. You should have just fucking like left it. But like he keeps going like, and then he like pulled up a thing in Reddit where he's like. It says here that if you're earning this and you start earning income, it may affect your... It's like... So he's just reading, like, the articles of, like, it may, depending on the amount, to, like... And he doesn't know any specifics about you at all, so he doesn't have a clue what he's talking about. Yeah, and then he throws other people into the mix that he accuses of being money washers. I won't even bring him up because it's so uh, far-fetched fantasy shit it's Look, i don't I, even know he's like i don't even i, I don't even know and mind. i don't even like i don't even begrudge anybody yeah you're making a little money under under the table from the show like who cares <laughs> and again if you think the irs cares stevie you're fucking dumb you're so dumb again he could come out right now and go yeah i make seven grand a, a year under the table or i make you know whatever it is they don't care it just goes to show you never trust this dude. He's showing everybody who he is. He'll throw you all your personal. Again, thank God he had nothing. Thank God he had nothing. He thought he had some damning info about me and, and get, getting ripped by a troll. And he thought he had damning info about you and your finances. Thank God he didn't have anything and yet still showed everybody who he is. I'll shoot anybody. I'll, I'll, I'll panic and take care of myself first and throw anybody else under the bus for any reason. That's Stevie Lou. That is Stevie Lou. Um, yeah, and I just I wanted to make sure no one out there thought we're pulling a work bullshit. Okay, I wasn't uh, I could sure. Redirect you to the first. I wasn't sure the what the argument was. I I went on uh, Stevie Lou's show the other day with obnoxious John because I heard something out of school, uh, and then whatever some for some reason Stevie Lou decided to send me the link to come on the show. So if there is a work and he's trying to make a fake argument that blows up, I mean, it, it did work. He pissed me off and now we're in a huge fucking blowout um, because of what he did. But yeah, like if there is a work, it's one-sided. That's all I can say. You will never see Steve Lou's face on BYB again. He is absolutely no one's friend. You will never see me in a discord with him hanging out. Uh, I can guarantee that. So anyone who suspects that this is bullshit, you can, uh, you, you can take that to Stevie and ask him because we are not in on it, just like we weren't in on the Kate Meany thing, just like he comes up with works all the time. Uh, we might ambush you on my show, but we're not going to fucking do works to you. All right. Thanks, Quad. All right. Thanks. Uh, we'll watch a little bit more of this because uh, just, just, again, Stevie, when he thinks he has something on people, is great. Just what a fucking tit. So everyone, I, I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I, I just, I, I don't, I don't need people like this in my life. It's ew. It's ew. But the same goes for Kevin and all these, like, I never trust any of these people. Never tell them anything. Never trust them. They, this is who they are. Your personal info goes right out the window. Any, anything you've told somebody in confidence right out the window, the minute these bitches feel cornered. So Stevie loses a sack of absolute human trash as far as i'm concerned i'm sorry he's going through a divorce please leave him alone leave his wife alone leave, leave uh, he, he deserves to be fucking alone right now sit in a room and think about what you've done because it's sad it really is fucking sad and pathetic by hiding your income with podcasting you. so you are one of the lowest scumbag form of complete sucking the life out of real americans 
you're this kind of guy who wants to be a proud boy, right? Ray, I don't know if you knew this, but this guy is a proud racist. He likes to promote racist. How you just, uh, right you just so, bragged uh, about uh, your uh, dad uh, getting to meet Gavin called, McGinnis called, after called, the boxing called, match. Did you or did you not say that it was answer, cool getting answer, to introduce your dad question. to my, Gavin answer, McGinnis? While you're live on your air, are you hiding? Another thing these losers do, constantly changing the argument. So hold on, what are we mad about, Stevie? Taxes or racism or Gavin McGinnis? What are we mad about? Yeah, just keep changing the argument and hopping around. Then you never have to be accountable for anything you say and you never really have to make a point. Your income no, I'm not. Government. Absolutely not. Okay, so you're going to implicate other people like Stormy right now? You're going to do that? And you're going to take other people down with I'm you? Not. No one mentioned anybody else? Implicating because, anyone. Because, what are you talking about? Because you, you're a scumbag and a loser who relies on federal money well, he's to just live. Says you. And now I, what I mean, you do is you like, hide your income so that your says federal you. disability payments don't come through. You say that. Is that true, or am I am I making well, you say that? Right, up? All right, Stevie. so answer that. Answer that, Quad. If you want to be real, because you've been real about again, like even if this is true, who's the piece of shit? <laughs> we're, we're, Stevie's so delusional; he thinks we're all going to run to his side. Like, hey, Stevie makes a good point. Stevie and Uncle Sam. We're all going to st stick up and team up on the wheelchair guy to get the government's money back because we love the government and Stevie Lou. <laughs> uh-huh. About me. So right, now right, I'm not right, talking right. about your family no more. And by the way, you know, Stevie Lou's sending me a bunch of DMs of people. Fearless and shit. You know, not, not even that it has to do with anything. I can't even make heads or tails of what he's sending me. It's just nonsense. Conversations about nine different things. And then he acts like it's something, you know, Stevie Lou's stuff. Again, if we could slow his brain down and get him to focus, maybe we could glean some information or what he's trying to say. But Stevie Lou's such an unfocused, you know, misinformation sprayer that it's just like, it's hard to catch any, any nugget of anything he's throwing out and parse it to make sense. I, I, I don't know what the fuck's ha What is he upset about? What's Stevie Lou saying? No one knows. Taxes and the government and you're a piece of shit and Stormy and did you or did you not be racist once? I mean, what are we? <laughs> you got him, Stevie. You got him. Fuck. Fuck. They're ruined. <laughs> I'm talking about you. But he, do you, uh, yeah, do you finally, hide, you stopped talking about my family. No, I don't. No, I do not hide money. Are you a leech? I do on not the hide money. Okay, so let me ask you: When you were setting up the super, he said he didn't. How how do you think this is gonna go, Stevie? You want to ask it ninety other ways? So you're not hiding money? So you don't misreport? So you aren't getting money from the government and not telling him about it? So the money doesn't go through somebody else and go to you? So you're not hiding money. So you're not taking money. So what you're saying is, it's like, Stevie, you're live. For chats, you said, I can't accept the money personally. Correct. I, need, I, I need, can't so accept you said it. That. Yeah, he can't. It's the same way with super tips. I don't want to get everyone super tips who use super tip and then have to pay it out. It adds a completely new layer of complexity to payment. If, if I was in a wheelchair and a social security disability, okay, and then I started a podcast, we started making money. Yeah, I don't want it coming into my account regardless of whether I handle it on the up and up or not. You understand I could have $100,000 extra coming into my account every year and pay that out to people and still collect my disability and to be on the up and up, Stevie. I, I mean, I, when I say you know that, I know you don't know that because you're dumb. You're dumb as fuck. So let me help you out. There is a way to do that. There is a way to make a bunch of money and still get your disability. As long as you're paying that money out to other people as well. But it adds another layer of complexity because you have to account for that money both coming in and going out. And if I'm quad father, I'm the same way. I'd rather not just come in so I don't have to do the fucking legwork. Pun intended.
So I imagine somebody else gets the money and then pays a little bit out to everybody, including Quadfather. And you have no fucking clue how much he's allowed to earn, how much he reports, how much he does earn. You don't have a fucking clue. So why even say it? Why even spout it out? What you're essentially saying is, I read there's a law that says if you're disabled and make some money that you could get in trouble depending on if the amount is, but I don't know all the details, but I read there's a law and you might be in trouble. Is that or is that not a fact? You got him, Stevie. You got him. Fuck. He might go to jail now. I mean, you look stupid for throwing a friend under a bus for no reason, but... He might be in serious trouble. Oh, wait, no, he's not. He's fine. Nothing's going to happen except you look dumb. You look like a bitch and you look dumb. The first thing you brought up. Yeah, well, you did. You're Kevin. You're dumb. Are you sure you're not hiding your age? You might be 64. You don't know how anything fucking works. Again, how are there so many fucking adult men who don't know how taxes work? Stop getting everybody. Stop getting everybody. If you file a 1040 EZ, shut up. If you file a 1040 EZ, shut up about other, you're going to, you're not going to get anyone. You you don't know anything. You're going to, you're going to march in here and, and, and pretend to know about distributions and allocations and disability insurance and payments and thresholds. Shut up. File your free tax report at H and R block and get yourself a lollipop for $29 nerd. I'm so sick. It's so it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. 1040 Easy Lou is going to bust people. Okay. Okay. I mean, ah! Fucking hell. Hey, be on the lookout for a dumb, tall guy with no bullets in his gun. That's Stevie Lou. Just a fucking tall, intimidating guy who can't do shit to anybody. Fucking hell. God, is this embarrassing. And then I get this one, you know. From, uh, I won't say his name. I get a couple timestamps in here. Where's my mouse? In my email last night, as I'm laying my little head down to bed, I get this. Just so you, just so you want to see what a piece of shit Stevie Lewis, if Quadfather's telling the truth. Again, I might be getting worked by everybody here. I'm not dumb. Stevie Lou and Quadfather and Lemmy might be all getting me. And I hope so. This will be the bump your show needs to take off. Here's part one. Here's part one. Saw it. This is from Mr. Ray, Mr. Ray and beloved Chatter, who's my moderator, and he's a good friend of mine uh, in real life. Last night at MLC, Stevie... You've met him twice. He's a good friend of mine in real life. You guys talk on the phone a lot, beloved? He's a good friend of mine in real life. Said, just got a text from Quad that he was playing it up for the show. Direct quote. Deny it. I have the clip. 218.50 mark. All right, Stevie. This is for Stevie. So you said, I guess on MLC, that Quad texted you last night. This is what they're all up in arms about, this text. So, Ray, you got to stop believing your chat for everything. So on MLC, after Quad and Ray, uh, Quad and Stevie Lou fought, Stevie Lou told Kevin Brennan, Quad Father's texting me saying it's all a work. I'm just hamming it up for the show. Now, he's being confronted about that in front of Quad Father. And Stevie Lou's playing dumb. I don't, you got to stop believing your chat. I didn't, I never said that. You can't believe everything they tell you, Ray. That's why I believe beloved chatter. Now, beloved chatter calls me on my own shit. I don't know, buddy. This text. So, 
Ray, you, you got to stop believing your chat for everything. I, I first of all, I believe beloved Probably chatter. You have, no, beloved uh, chatter calls know. me on my own shit. I don't know, buddy. No. Like, if you're gonna <laughs> sit there and go over every minute minute of MLC, I can't help you, buddy. I'm talking about Liam right now doing a no, ten well, page. Well, well, all right, well, I don't know what this is. Uh, oh. Yeah, sorry, I'm on a different thing now. I want to yell at Liam about being in the UCLA Film School. That's what I want to yell about now. I don't like it when I get caught. Ray, they're telling you that I said that Quadfather texted me on MLC last night. I didn't. You got to stop believing everything your chat says, Ray. And again, Stevie knows he's lying. This is another funny bit from Stevie Lou. Uh, so this is. Oh, hold on, hold on. I just got a text from Quadfather. He's saying, I'm sorry, dude. I was just playing it up for the show. Yeah, but, but you know, oh, it's even worse than that. that I'm sorry, dude. Quadfather. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, man. You said, I said, I'm sorry, dude. Fake quadfather. So that was. Wait a second. Wait a second. Was I acting? So, first of all, you said it's a lie. I I never said that. You can't believe everything your chat says, Ray. Now he's saying I was acting. Uh, nobody on, can that's tell because it all on, sucks. Hold on, hold on. Even hold when on. you try to act, hold it on. sucks. Hold on, guys. Hold on. So I wonder why I think this is fake. Look at Stevie Lou's face. Hell, because it all on, sucks. Hold on. Hold on. Even hold when on. you. I wonder why I think this is all a work. He's smiling. He's smiling. Try to act, hold it on, sucks. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see this. Now, yeah, I, hold, hold, I, hold. I wonder why I think this is all a gay work. And more importantly, I wonder why my listeners think I'm involved in a gay work. This is gay. This is gay. Like it or not, Stevie Lou is broken, okay? And if at a minimum, it's like on what on what's funny. So Stevie Lou thinks it's funny to be like, I don't know what you're talking about, Ray. You guess not believe in your chat. Then he gets confronted with the evidence. He's like, I was acting. Enough. Enough. We get it. You're being a silly boy. You're lying. You're creating chaos. You're trolling. You're not good at it. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're bad. This sucks. This sucks. Again, this is one of the worst Ray shows ever. Fucking losers. Hey, 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 Stevie, don't call me. Don't text me. Leave me alone. No hard feelings. Leave me alone. You're a fucking asshole of a human. You're garbage. I, 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 I'll never, like, again, all I need to know is you try to get people by spilling their secrets. Again, thank God you're dumb. And both secrets you thought you had on your friends, you had wrong. You had wrong. Thank God you can't listen. Thank God you can't remember. Thank God you can't process information. And thank God you can't articulate. Thank fucking God. I, I, everyone should find Stevie Lou and nunchuck the shit out of him. You'll never get caught because they'll have to find a cop and explain what happened. And boy, do you have hours to get away. No, because see what ha happened. They came, uh, they had come up to me and like, do you know about taxes? Anyway, I thought, and then they had, and then, yeah, yeah. This is a giant sack of shit. This is a giant sack of human shit. He, 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 no loyalty. All I need is loyalty. All I need is a little bit of loyalty. All I need is you to try to do the right thing. Attempt to. Again, Ray has more scruples than this motherfucker. I'm not close friends with Stevie, and watching him try to get me was hilarious. I, I watched him do a show for a year with BYB and Quadfather, and these guys, and now he just shits all over him and tries to... Again, it's hilarious that you think the IRS gives a fuck, but... Wow, way to show your cards. Way to show who you are, you know? So, yeah, I guess that's that.
I guess that's that. Stevie Lou, untrustworthy bitch. And again, no hard feelings. I'm not hunting you down. I'm not trying to get you. I'm not trying to come after you. We're done. We're just done. I don't have time for silly bitches. I don't have time for silly little boys doing silly little shit. And again, I consider myself very silly. I like, I enjoy silliness. This is insanity. This is so stupid. You want sympathy for a divorce? You want sympathy? You want support? Meanwhile, you're running around, this is your priority? Lying about people? Playing dumb? Trying to get friends? Good luck, bitch. Good luck. Set sail. I'm serious. Don't call me. Don't email me. Don't reach out to me for shit. We're done. We're done. I mean, I, again, no. wish you well. Wish you the best. Wouldn't wish a divorce on anybody. Wouldn't wish what you're going through on anybody. I get it. It's tough. It's hard. I, I, I've never gotten so much an apology for the lies you fucking told to me. And you want to double down and start acting tough and shit. Good luck. Good luck. It, it's Stevie, you're fucking up. You're fucking up. Get help. Talk to somebody. Get a get get a counselor. Get some get some help. Clyde, you give these Stevie Lou types way too much credit sometimes. Name one person from the KB universe that isn't a child pretending to be internet famous. Um, that's a good question. Present company included. Emailed you the two clips of Stevie lying about text. Yeah, thanks. So much for keeping them anonymous. <laughs> uh, but Dazzler, remember for seven months, Stevie would have uh, been a good Nazi. Stevie would have been a good Nazi. They're over there. They're over there. The Jews are over there, and I think they cheated on their taxes. One of them's disabled. Kill him first. Am I a good Nazi? Pet me. Peg leg vet. 58, one leg, and spinal cord damage, and I'll kick Stevie Lou's ass. Again, nobody wants to kick Stevie Lou's ass. I'm not mad. I'm not involved in this. I don't have any emotion in it. What I see is a, is a weird, sad guy. Like, lashing out at people who are, again, I don't know if they were friends or not. BYB, Lemmy, Quadfather, Stevie Lou, Bobby Nick, Granny, all those. I thought they were friends. I assume they'd done a show for a year together. They were friends. I thought Stevie and I were friends. We got along great. I've always treated Stevie fair. I've, ne I've never tried to fuck Stevie over. And Stevie tries to fuck everybody over the first chance he gets. Again, it's not even like, hey, you brought me to this. I'm going to do this, which I understand and have a little bit of myself. No, first things first, let's get into how you're cheating the IRS. Whoa. First things first, let's get into Melton. You told me something in confidence once about somebody harassing your wife. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But let's go. Let's go. Imagine that. Imagine me trusting Stevie Lou enough to tell him about a time my wife got really hurt. My wife don't get really hurt. I didn't marry a bitch. I didn't marry a bitch. You're not, you're not going to embarrass me. She ain't out there acting stupid. You can post a photo of her all you want. I picked her. I know what she looks like. I mean, it's just, it's fucking sad. It's fucking sad. I don't try to do to enemies what Stevie Lou thought he tried to do. <laughs> fucking pathetic. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say about it. All right, how do we uh, wrap today? What are we going to do? We got 30 minutes. <sighs> Maybe I only do three and a half hours now. Maybe I only do three and a half hours. Let me go over to my thing. Let's see what we got.
Let's do a quick hit. Let's do a quick hit of something, huh? Oh, boy. You don't see that. Yeah, we kind of already watched that one. We could watch that. I See, I don't want to get into Michael Ray Bauer because he starts talking about the Nickelodeon quiet on the set kid touching documentary and then it gets a little heavy stevie tells on telling on people <laughs> i'm sure hello yeah it seems like uh i don't know i've always kind of wondered why stevie lose hated so much everywhere no matter where he's at and this kind of just shows it with this bullshit on the race show last night it makes me wonder do you think chad's worse than than uh stevie you think stevie's worse than chad are they the same to me it's like it's just this one trait that that i've seen in bob levy kevin brennan chad and they all will go nuclear immediately if they have a secret they'll spill it if they have information they'll tell it if they have access to a a loved one, a relative, a husband, a, a wife, a, a kid, a, a, a sponsor, a, a, a friend, a landlord. They all they all do it. They all immediately like, oh, yeah, I'll contact your dad. I'll contact your mom. I'll contact the IRS. I'll get you kicked out of your apartment. I'll make your job lose. I'll get your wife booted from this. I'll, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, stutter, stuttering John's the exact same way. They all just right, recognize right. any information. Right. I watched yeah. John, John a little bit yesterday. John was like, he's going to show my kids? All right, here's his wife. It's like, I heard you were going to show my kids, so I'm going to show your wife now. <laughs> there's, there's, right. not, there's not even logic to it. So, again, Do you think these guys all these guys don't life? trust all these guys. They're showing you who they are. They're fucking losers, and they're loose cannons, and don't ever, 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 ever trust them with anything. Don't ever do business with them. Don't ever let them have access or control of your money. Don't give them access to control of any of your accounts. I wouldn't tell them a secret. I wouldn't share with them uh, what your license plate number is. I I'm serious. All these guys will use it, all of them. Right, they will. Say whatever you it's want. Scary. Again, again, Michaela and I had that private interaction months ago. No one would have ever known about this. <laughs> like, I'm not out to yeah, get it's... fans. I'm not out to fuck people over. It's just nobody looks at the big picture on anything. These guys don't. Dude. It's all short-term thinking. It's all it is. I, I, Immediate. It, yeah, all right. Painful. Thanks, man. Thank I appreciate you. it. Um. Yeah, I mean, all I need to know is one thing. Will you betray my trust the minute you have a chance? Yes, Kevin Brennan will. Yes, Chad Zumach will. Yes, Stevie Lou will. Yes, Stuttering John will. Every one of them, the minute they have a chance. Ray doesn't do that. Unless it's an accident. I sure as fuck don't do it. You've never seen a show where I come on and go like, guys, this person wronged me. Here's their phone number, address. Here's where their wife works. It'd be interesting if we could find out if they're paying the IRS. No, we'll watch a Steel Toe Morning Show and go, wow, they're breaking a lot of laws out in the open. That's different. That's different. We They didn't tell me that, and then I ran and told everybody. I'm watching them break laws. Ray's doxing is never intentional. But this is what I'm saying. So people ask me, like, how do you work with Ray? How do you trust Ray? It's like, again, there's something in Ray, however small part of it is, he's not a bad guy, man. He's just not. Ray doesn't feel dangerous or bad to me. No matter how many jokes we talk about him killing women on the side of the road. I mean, Aaron Emholt doesn't do this to people. This is, a, this is a trait of toxic, insecure, underdeveloped men. And all women.
The only reason to do this is to try to make yourself feel better and self-soothe. Why else are you just ratting, trying to rat out your friend? Again, the best part about it, Stevie, is like, the IRS shall never hear about this, and, and Quadfather will never get in trouble. You're not going to report him. You're not, you wanted to just yell it on a podcast that nobody watched. I hope it was worth it. You showed everybody who you are, and nothing will come of this. Again, I'm not saying anything should. It'd be one thing if the IRS swarmed his, his yard tomorrow, arrested him, and you got him in big trouble. But at least it was like, all right, well, you shot your shot, and you fucked him up. You not only shot your shot, nothing's going to come of it other than everyone getting a glimpse into the real you, Stevie Lou. Loser. Betrayer. Sad, sad little insecure man who can't, can't, can't fight with his... You got to play, play like this. You got to play nasty. And then again, the best part is nothing will happen. We all saw what a bitch you are. We all saw what a pathetic betrayer you are, and nothing will happen. Back to back, two days in a row, running around. Probably be on Kevin Brennan's podcast today, telling some more secrets about people that you think you know. When again, I, I, you know, you can make you can make this better by going on Kevin Brennan's day show today. And go, you know what? I'm going through a lot. I may be a little unbalanced. I probably have fucked over some people. I probably shouldn't have fucked over. Melton was always cool to me. I don't know why I did that. It was emotional. I lashed out. I probably should step off the internet for a while and get my bearings. I don't know why I did that. I don't really have anything against Quad Father. He said a lot of shit to me that was mean and hurtful, and I think I let it get to me. I'm going through a lot. Again, a little contrite, a little apology, a tie, a, 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 something resembling a mea culpa. A semblance of a man who has some self-recognition for what he's done. No, no, no. I'm going to go on Kevin Brennan's show today and just keep firing my little dingy Derringer pistols. Fucking idiot. I know he will. You know he will, too. He'll be over there today going like, yeah, those guys are just can't take the truth. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Pat, Patrick, can you invite Adam to hack him in? Who's Adam? Hollywood Adam? Hey, everybody, come check out my new podcast. It's called Tax TV, where I share my expertise in Lynn, the tax business. We will be welcoming Stevie Lou as an industry expert on each episode. So, you know, it'll be dope. All my fans will be there. Uh, the ghost of Mr. P sexed God. Thank you for the super sticker. Again, are you sexing her like having sex with her? Or is it like when you sex a bird? She's asking for a friend. Hold on. Remember, everybody said I was a bad actor and no one believes my acting. Let's play this clip and now let's see if everyone believed my acting or not. So, again, you're losing friends left and right. You're going through a divorce and you're over there going, like, and everybody said I was a bad actor. Am I a bad actor? Am I not a bad actor? Maybe we'll watch a clip and see. Your wife's leaving you. Your fucking wife has had enough. And you're like, am I really a bad actor? Let's go to the clip. <laughs> you're losing friends left and right. Like real friends. Like people who would stick up for you. Your wife's on the way out the door. And you're on a show like, not gonna people said I wasn't gonna remember I am good. Your wife's packing. You're about to have New York rent alone. Hello. It's DEFCON one, baby. I meant to say one. It's De what the fuck are you doing? Like, like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I, 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 I'm your wife, and I see this clip. I'm out. I'm out. Hold on, you guys. You also a bad actor. You also was I acting or was I acting? Was I acting or what? Well, your wife's packing. You're playing coy.
Fucking hell. Punch Draw, which is not even a real name. I've never seen this before in my life. It's not even a guy. Threatening Quad with the IRS. Stevie Lou looking like a bag of shit now. Thanks for the consistently funny shows. Melton! <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> Pathetic. I, again, while your wife's leaving, this is what you want to do. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Nobody. Go, go ahead. I Remember we'll... how you guys all just moments ago just... said you guys all. This is a guy getting divorced. Look at him. So this is. Oh, hold on, hold on. I just got a text from Quadfather. He's saying, I'm sorry, dude. I was just playing it up for the show. Yeah, but you know. Oh, it's even worse than that. that I'm sorry, dude. Oh, man. You said, I said, I'm sorry, dude. Fake Quadfather. So that was. Wait a second. Wait a second. Was I acting? Uh, oh, nobody can tell because it all on, sucks. Hold on, hold on. Even hold when on. you try to act, it sucks. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see this. Now, hold, yeah. hold on. Remember, everybody said I was a bad actor and no one believes my acting? Let's play this clip and now let's see if everyone believed my acting or not. Remember when everyone said I was a bad actor? Remember? Remember? Now, this all seems real serious, Stevie. What a fuck. Like, honestly, like, it's it grosses me out. It grosses me the fuck out. So, again, I, I'm sure I'm the GOAT. Not the greatest of all time. But the, uh, the guys who are getting, uh, I'm sure my GOAT's being, my GOAT's the one on the, how do you say it? Um, my GOAT is being got. Again, it will not surprise me when Lemmy and Quadfather and, and, and Stevie Lou all come out and go like, uh, this is all a big bit to get more views on BYB. It won't shock me. Either way, I'm out. I'm out. I'll be disappointed if it's Lemmy. I'll be disappointed if it's Quad. You know? But I'm definitely missing something. I'm not dumb. I'm definitely missing something. What does Stevie know that we don't know? Is he in on it? What's he got cooking that we don't know? Something's up. I, d I don't know if it's a work. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Something's up. This feels weird, man. This feels weird. I, I, I don't come from a world where friends turn on each other like this. The turn. Where friends get this mean and this vicious this fast. Zero to a hundred. Family, friends, kids, employment, income, housing, stability, spouses. You know, whatever it is. Like, these guys get gross. Gross. Melton, don't you hang pictures of trans kids? Yes. Yes. They should never find out about it. Knight Melendez should never, ever find out what I do here with the wall. I don't know Knight Melendez, and I wish them no harm. <laughs> They've already done enough to themselves. Their father already pushed them too far. Thanks to today's executive producer, Rover. We couldn't have done it without Rover. And again, Rover coming in strong. As usual, unnecessarily gifting 10 memberships to today's show. He didn't have to do that, but we do thank him for doing that. Okay, so thank you very much, Rover. And all the high rollers and ships at sea. But I'm a confused boy today. I'm, I'm just a confused, confused boy today. I'm definitely missing something. I, I, don't, I, I don't come from this world. I don't come from a place where real world friends do that to each other. Even like people have met once or twice or never met but spent hours with. You know, I mean, I just like, you won't find a video of me doing it to anyone. Oh, yeah, that person wronged me. Here's their info.
baffled. Like almost spe I'm just like I'm just sitting here thinking about it. I'm just speechless. I don't have an answer. You're not a woman, Melton. Cheers to the boys at sea. We salute you. You're clearly missing the turn. I I guess. I guess. I just um yeah. All right, should we let, should we do something funny? Let me go to my folder. Let me go to my funny folder full of brief funny things. Okay, here's one. Here's a 90 second clip someone gave me of Steel Toe. So I'll bring it back full circle as well. We can get the Stevie Lou out of the roof of our mouths. Sticks like peanut butter. Thick. Aaron M. Holt, again, worrying about money. What a great way to end the show today, I think. Beep. So we did get on the, the conversation, and he was like, you understand that your house is worth like 100 grand more than when you buy? I'm like, I, yeah, I understand. So somebody told Aaron, some real estate... Maven told Aaron that his house was worth a hundred grand more than when he bought it. I got it. I know. And then he goes, just take it. He even goes, take a look at this comp. He like, he had a comp and he goes, take a look at this. Um, Take a look at this one. It's the same exact thing as yours. Look what it, he goes. Just keep an eye on that one. So I kept an eye on it. He's like, look at that fucking price. He goes, that's what yours would be worth if that one sells at that price. And I looked yesterday. It was on the market for less than a week. Mm -hmm. Fucking contingent already. <laughs> so Aaron's uh, watching similar houses to his comps, comparables. Sell and dreaming about selling his house. To get money. Um, now I'm starting to look at that one and I'm like, I don't think I can. Like, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at what these prices are doing and I'm sitting here going, can I even afford to be here? Like, can I even afford to be here? Can I even afford to be here? Is it? Answer me this. Just answer me this one question. Is Aaron so proud that he would move himself and April and his children into an apartment or a condo if it meant he could keep doing the radio show? Is Aaron such a narcissist, such a selfish bitch, that he would sell his house to pocket, you know, again, after closing and everything, 25, 50 grand. Would he move his entire family into an apartment and make them give up space, convenience, etc., to keep pretending like he's a successful radio man? I, I, I'm starting to wonder. Can I afford to not sell the way this is going? This Can I afford to not sell? Just ridiculous. Yeah, but then where do you go? Because I have to ask, if, if everything's going up and you're going to sell your house, it's not like you're going to move into a no, new house that's a for great, a low price. That's a great question, and I'll tell you the only thing I would ever do. Oh, boy. Get married a third time? This is the only thing I would ever do. I'm not making a man. That way the show works. Moving or anything like that. But if I were, here's where you could make that work. Where I live is expensive. It's close to schools and shit like that. And the properties are expensive and whatever. All I have to do is move to where there's no schools, stores, airports, roads, comforts, electricity. Housing. You could get a log in the woods for next to nothing. If I got rid of this and went to a smaller town where the houses are cheaper, 
you could do a little damage. Again, if the house is worth, they I met they bought the house what 2020 with these rock bottom interest rates. The house is worth a hundred thousand more. Now anybody with half a brain knows that you're going to spend fifty to seventy thousand more just in the difference in interest rate on a medium sized home. So after, again, s- closing costs, expenses, I imagine that house is going to need some serious staging and uh, pine saw to get the egg smell out. He would, he, he'd clear 20 grand, 30 grand. If your house is worth 100,000 more, you got to get, but you got to get a new loan with a new interest rate, which is going to be seven, not two. So what a fucking idiot. What a fucking idiot. So if if so you're saying if if <laughs> So he he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He might please do a silent Wednesday tomorrow. You guys want wordless Wednesday tomorrow? Where I just come in here and sit for 4 hours and stare? I tried to come uh, to go on like I never knew you. I'm awake, but my world is half asleep. I pray for this heart to be unbroken, but without you, all I'm going to be is incomplete. Yeah, when Adam's gone, the Bachetti thing. Like, how sad was the Bachetti thing yesterday? By the way, hit the like button on the way out today. What if we had 400 likes today? That'd be crazy. That'd be very, very cool. <laughs> yeah, the Bachetti thing is just fucking awful. Again, let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. Let me put it like this. It's just like it's old. It's played out. He ran it into the ground. By the way, not saying it couldn't be good every month, but Kevin ran into the ground. Today it'll be Stevie Lou or Chad. Chad will be back. Don't don't forget. So Chad, Chad will be back on MLC. The good news is everybody hates Chad. I like I like watching Stevie Lou bash Chad. Maybe get back to that. It'll be great. It'll be great. Capital gains will take 15%. No, you're allowed. Are you allowed to make a little bit? I think you're allowed to make a little bit tax free. No. It's like 250,000 or something. You can make tax free or am I thinking of a different law? I'm confused. I'm confused. Kevin needs it to be weekly because he stinks. I mean, it stinks. It stinks. That that whole thing yesterday, I watched maybe 30 minutes of it. Out. Just trash. Just trash. But these are my thoughts. You don't have to keep them, and you don't have to agree with them, and you don't have to. Chad and Stevie Lou on MLC Today. It's going to be something completely fucking different. Your manner is most unbecoming of a gentleman. Would you be high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy has it. Just high on cigarettes. The question posed to stupid hoes who don't get it yet. Excuse me, miss. Are you high on cigarettes? I don't know if the comedy hasn't hit them yet. They're full blown retarded or just high on cigarettes. All the laughter that you deploy if you listen to the show, boy Patrick Melton, Melton faces. Have you stacking that no low point? It's the low point, not the reason. The reason is fucking gold. Gonna make the taco pony party be a part of your soul. Gonna make you vandalize a van with a pedal sticker. So bold, the family probably get arrested before they get down the road. A stupid motherfuckers just got NL loaned Other radio shows are straight bitch male prone Talk shit on the youngins that nobody like past Have my home